Mornings, the Opie and Anthony Show. our song. <laughs> Opie and Anthony program. Joe DeRosa Hi. joining the show. Hi, Joe. Eight. Oh, my God. This uh, song um, used to hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> uh, the, you know, being a child of the 80s, yeah. uh, I do remember um, uh, maybe this on when I uh, had some sexual intercourse Yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And now it just reminds me of standing out and in a, on a cold street, singing, <laughs> singing this 800 times into some pretty girl's face. <laughs> yeah. First, first of all, before before the explanation of what that means. Yes. Uh, uh, my memories of this song were when I was six, going to see my grandfather as he was sick in the hospital. Oh God. And laying in the back seat of the car because it was nighttime, and this and Hello by Lionel Richie would always come on. Ah. So I, I really I'm not a fan of either song. It's another one of my favorites. I um, sing a karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> but you sang this like a champ. We did a video oh, together. That was great. And you sang this like a champion. Thank you, sir. The uh, the uh, it's getting it's getting raves. Your uh, your video. It's uh. Why don't you well, tell the people about it, Joe? Well, folks, uh, <laughs> I did a bit. I was gonna try to sneak the plug in, but fuck it. Ah, let's, blatant. Let's put it out there on a platter. Uh, <laughs> I did a well. I I signed a uh, web series deal with uh, Warner uh, Music for their for their new channel, the Warner Sound on YouTube. YouTube's doing yes. all these new ch YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, so the Warner Sound is one of them, and I'm doing a web series for them called What Are We Waiting For about a music fanboy and his friends going to different music events and the shit that they do to annoy people unknowingly. Yes, just by uh, being douches. Yeah, just by being way too excited. Yeah, yeah way too excited. And uh, and the and the stuff that happens to them and stuff as they try to get into a show or whatever. So the first episode was about me and a friend, my character and a friend, standing in line for Phil Collins, and you played my friend. Yes, yeah. I had the I had the Collins shirt on, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and you had the Phil shirt on. And the on. Phil shirt on, yes. Yeah. And the jean cut off jean shorts. Yes. Uh, sneakers and, and dark socks pulled up to, uh, all the way up my shins. Yeah, the socks pulled up. It was beautiful. And my and then... hair was slicked back. <laughs> yeah. It looked like a real fucking asshole. Yeah. So, we, <laughs> was, so, yeah, we played the two guys standing in line waiting for Phil Collins. And at one point, you sing this song. Yes. You sing against all odds. And you sing it like a fucking angel. Oh, and, and your character just can't get enough. Loves it. <laughs> Your, your jaw hit the ground. I can't get enough of you singing in real life. That's uh, why I wrote that into the thing. I was like, I want Anthony singing in this that thing. Was, I loved when you called me up and approached me with that. It's like, you know, we were down, we were singing the karaoke thing, and I noticed you were singing this song. And oh, okay. What, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Why not? My favorite part of the whole thing, though, is after you get the beer. Uh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> <Well, laughs> that was my favorite like aspect of getting to do this was was I always I'm from from Philly and I always wanted to play Philly's just got the most grotesque disgusting accent I've ever heard in my life and I always wanted to do that in something and I never got a chance to yeah because when I go on auditions for you know TV shows and stuff if I went in doing that they'd be like what the fuck are you don't take any liberties asshole just read the fucking lines so I was like oh this is my thing so I could do it finally so it was fun to be like you know yeah yeah dude <laughs> Fucking drinking, bro. It's it's such an awful, awful accent. Why it's the, so obnoxious. It, it, why the in line concept for? Uh, it's, a, it's not. A, it's a good idea. Thanks. The uh, why why waiting in line for concerts? Well, originally the idea was going to be the same title, and it was going to be me going to concert lines. Because when I talked to them originally, I talked to them. I said, "There's always these lines in the city for things. You never know what anybody's waiting right. for, and you want to know." And I went up to somebody one day in a line, and I said, "What are you waiting for?" And they said, "Hanson." And I said, how long have you been wow. out here? And she goes, three hours. And I go, you know they suck, right? Like, <laughs> I'm standing out here. And she got really mad. So I told them that story, and they wanted to do a thing where it was me going up to people in line. Why are you here? What are you waiting for? Da -da -da. And then they said, well, actually, we, we're more interested in doing, like, a scripted thing. Do you have any ideas? And I was like, well, what if we just took that line idea and made it about two guys waiting in line that were about the people that are super excited to get in? 
and then that was it. Like that was that was it had to be a music related thing because it was for Warner yeah. Music or whatever. Um, and that was it. So um, all the other scripts have some variation of waiting or trying right, to get right, into right. the show or whatever. Everything isn't literally right. uh, standing in a line or whatever. So um, that's why. Okay. Wow. And where, yeah. could, where could people uh, see this? YouTube.com slash the Warner Sound. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Anthony, you just fuck, you, you kill it, dude. It's so, you're so funny. Oh, dude, my and, goodness, Joe. Uh, thank you. I want to thank uh, everybody that was involved. Uh, you know, well, they just made me better. Sam, <laughs> Sam's face pops up in it. Danny's in there. Yes. E rocks in there. I didn't Rock. see Danny. I saw E Rock and, and uh, I didn't see Sam either. Danny Cakes had his hood up the whole time, so you couldn't really tell oh, it was Danny. him. <laughs> it was supposed to be cold. I was get I was getting into the role. It yeah. was, yeah. It was supposed to be cold on the line, and that's why we were in shorts yeah. and t-shirts because we were the douchebags. Yeah. On the line. <laughs> so and I'm am talking. You know, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here in any way, but like you know, I I want to. I talked to uh, Opie about trying to get him into one. I talked to Jimmy about w wanting to get him into one. Yeah. I want to just get, like... I signed on. My friends... <laughs> yeah. You're my, signed on. Yes. I sent Jimmy a script, and uh, and he said, okay. Yeah, so, you know, I, I just want to get a bunch of funny people in this, in these, you know, like a rotating cast of funny people yeah. that I admire. You I know? do accents, too, though, though, but I do them always from uh, overseas. Oh, <laughs> I just, really? I just bring that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, do what? Do it. Would I, you like to go to the show? <laughs> just wreck Joe's sketch. Like, just, just, hey, Jim, it's not working. <laughs> oh, jump time's funny. It's good. Uh, Jim, it's not. The fucking the comments on YouTube. I'm actually going over to Warner. Oh my god. And you can come do this if you want tomorrow. Yeah. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, I'm going over to Warner Brothers to sit in a room while they in their studio while they videotape me reading the comments under the YouTube oh, video. Oh, shit. Because everything is just like, it's a funny video, you shoulderless asshole. You know, like every... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> insult after insult. <laughs> One said, who's, uh, who's uh, Joe's dad standing next to him? <laughs> it's all shoulder insults. Oh, yeah. You know, it was fucking, they were, some of them were so funny. And then all the Facebook comments were really nice, but one guy wrote, uh, what a lump of shit. This thing was <laughs> oh, fucking terrible, really? Oh, and thanks. I, I wrote to him, I was like, why would you write that? Oh, my why God, would why, you, would you why would you write back? I go, that's so mean, why would Joe, you? Joe, why did you write he back? He's, cause he's a guy that I've interacted with on Facebook before, and I've always, believed, like, he's written me stuff, and I've right. always been nice. So I wrote to him, I go, why would you write a hateful thing like that? I'm like, I don't understand, why would you do that? And he sent me this fucking huge letter. Of like, I'm not gonna suck your ass cheeks like everybody else wow. does. If I see a lump of shit, I call it. You put it out there, buddy. Whoa. So take the criticism. It was like so harsh. And uh, and I just I hope you just unfriended him, or blocked him. You know, I got. See, he, fuck them. You shouldn't know. A, 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 criti a criticism. If he would have written, it said, I, I think I don't think this was Joe's best thing. Well, I've seen things I like better. There's a way to do that without being a cunt. If the right. guy's being a cunt to you, you absolutely should be a cunt back. You know what happened? And I got tr I told Keith Robinson this story last night, and he trashed me up and down the fucking cellar. Thank you for leaving, by the way, because as soon as you left, that yeah. trashing went right on to me. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a beating. <laughs> Why are you getting a oh, beating? Big one. Yeah. Uh, I was getting a beating. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> it's getting trashed. <laughs> you left, and it was just like, oh, Jimmy's gone. <laughs> oh, they all went right to you. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking I, hilarious. I told him this story. I'm going to think about this, honestly. I told him this story, and he goes, what'd you do? And I go, I, I go, honestly, dude, this has never happened to me. And I've been a little emotional lately because of the stuff happening with my mom yeah. and stuff, whatever. So I went to his page. And I was already to tee off on him. And I, I fucking had the message. And I was like, I'm going to take this fucking 08 tomorrow. I'm going to fucking trash him. And I was so mad. And I started looking at his pictures. And it was just him alone in every picture. And I started to feel sad. And I was like, this guy's just like... Fuck him. Fuck him. Good. <laughs> Fuck good he's alone. Fuck that cock Deserves sucker. Deserves being That's alone. why... It's not sad. That's yes. why he's alone. Because he's a fucking jerk off. Prick. It's yeah. not sad that he's alone. He's. If he would have said, hey, man, that was kind of... I shouldn't have said that... His criticism is fair. If he didn't like something, okay. Sure. But he was a scumbag. Being nice to you in one minute and then just being a jerk off. There's a, there's a way to criticize something and not be a cocksucker. Or, or how about he goes, oh, that's a, a, a lump of shit. 
um, as opposed to my stuff, which I will post links to here. And now watch what a good video looks like. And then he's got a bunch of great stuff. Some yeah. of these scumbags you can't be nice to. There was one guy, right, was sending me these weird tweets or whatever, so I blocked him. And uh, it turns out he was on medication. We, I think we had oh, nasty Jesus. email exchanges. And I, I'm nasty to these fucking cocksuckers. AZT. And I, I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, but then we were nice to each other or whatever. He's like, "Dude, I'm sorry. I was on this medication." Blah blah. blah. So I unblocked him on Twitter, and then this scumbag, this fucking scumbag, starts sending me nasty emails again. Oh and it's like, my god! It's like he's pro little baby is probably on his medication again. And it's like, you fuck. Why would I have been nice to that jerk off? Yeah. Man? I knew he was a jerk off. But I showed niceness because, like, I had a guy right. say he was sorry he was on medication. I never should have fucking looked at him that's as why, anything but a jerk. That's right, why I, right, have, uh, right. I have one fucking sentence, and it's permanent fucking block, unfollow, ban, things like that. That's it. I don't have a, you know, oh, you're sentenced to, you know, two weeks without being able to read the genius that is me. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just, once you're done, you're done. I'll and unlock if you, And if you go to a friend... And have them fucking get in touch with me and say, why'd you block him? He would like you to unblock. Then that guy gets blocked, too. That's, that, that is the wonderful thing about Twitter, uh, Twitter oh, particularly, great. that you can have, like, fucking Frank Sinatra, like, resolve yes. and, like, just cutting people. You're fucking dead <laughs> You're to me. Dead Who did you? You me. looked at my girl. Lock, change the locks. He's never dead allowed to, to me. Like, I, I love that aspect of it. And, um, yeah, like I that's why that's why I wanted to get your temperature, both of your temperatures on this, because I was like, I've been a little fucking emotional. I've been a little soft lately. That guy's a cocksucker, and, dude. He's a cocksucker who thinks, sorry to interrupt you, but who no, no, thinks no. that he's just telling it like it is. Yeah. But he's being a jerk off. He's not just telling you, I'm not going to suck your ass. That's a little fucking lonely zero of a man who thinks that he's just telling it like it is. When he's being a cunt, you should block him. Have, I, I forget they're alive. I literally, when I, I'll go back over the, uh, the, I do what Anthony taught me. Send him a hateful message, block, and block right. him. That's Twitter, and I forget they ever lived. Yes. Well, it's great. Gone. It, that is fucking great, but some of these fucking douchebags said it so you can't direct message them, and I have followed guys, so I could direct message them to be like, go fuck yourself, and then you can't direct message them. So then they see me following them, and then unfollowing them three times because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Where's the yeah, goddamn direct to follow message? Never you. follow them. Just block them. Then, if you can't send them a direct message, block them. You let you'll never think of them again. Yeah, I right. forget they lived. Yeah. I love it. I love knowing that they're going to have to listen to this show or whatever it is I'm doing. And I wouldn't if they commit suicide. I'll never hear about. You'll it. never know. You'll, you'll never, never know. know if they write anything I'll about never know. you. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't it, fucking matter. It's the. Cl it, it really is the classic. Heckler response. Yes. Uh, hey, I don't come down to where you work and knock the dick out of your mouth or whatever. You know, like it. But it, that really is true. There's a reason why that's the most famous heckler response ever, um, and it's what you guys were. I think Anthony, you said if you. It'd be different if you said, "Well, here's my stuff." Yeah. And whatever. But I'm really getting tired of like. You know, some guy talking to me like he's Roger Ebert, except he says cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I go to his page, and it's like, what do you do besides fish? You know what I mean? Go fuck yourself. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, hey, here's how you fucking tie a line off, you fucking asshole, you dumb cunt fisherman. You don't yeah. know how to, what the fuck you're doing. It's like, I don't know anything about that, so I wouldn't talk about it. But there's this persona, this entitled shit where if you speak freely on radio or podcast or on stage even... It's, hey, buddy, tough shit, man. You know what you I mean? You put yourself like, out there. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah, okay. There's a part of that, though, where we do open ourselves for criticism because we all, it's almost like I, I, I'll take certain criticism because I, I don't get mad if they send me adulation. Like, I've never had a guy send me an email where he's gone, hey, I like your stuff, or I've written back and go, who cares about your opinion? It's only when they're... <laughs> and the, reason it's, the reason the anonymity annoys me... <laughs> Fuck you. ...is because uh, Ask they, us. they would say nice things to your face. Most of them wouldn't say the negative things to your yeah, face. That's yeah. why that annoys me. Yep. But it's when they criticize like scumbags. I've gotten criticism that I thought was fair. Yeah, yeah. Then I was like, ah, you Definitely. know what? He didn't like something I did. I never liked that, but I get it. But it's when they're jerk offs like that guy. Can we go to Danny? Can we go to Joe's page? We can see this cunt. A lot of times too, I don't even. Uh, I, I won't comment to somebody and then block them. I'll just block them. Yeah. Like sometimes right. they're not even worth a comment. It's like, well, you guys got. And, and I love the <clears throat> accounts where somebody's trying to bash me. They have no followers. Hey, Bob. They have no followers. <laughs> 
Um, they have one tweet, which is the one directed toward me. Yes. It's like they made the account because I had blocked them already, sure. and they wanted to get me back. Let, Danny, let me sign in to my thing, and I'll read the response letter. Oh. Yeah, the guy, but the guy is a jerk. Especially if you wrote to him and said, why would you write that? The guy's just being a jerk off. But he's probably like this asshole that I dealt with who's on medication. And uh, uh, you know, I'm then so we have nice exchanges, and then he's a cocksucker. Yeah. I'm so fucking tired of people blaming their medication. Yeah, I agree. And everything. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, the, the other thing that, the thing that pisses me off more than anything is when somebody will engage you in a rational criticism, like, like Jimmy was talking about, like where somebody will say fairly, like, hey, man, your uh, stance on hippies or whatever the fuck right. it is is unfair, and here's why, and then they rattle off this counter-argument, and then you go, okay, I don't agree with that, da, 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 da. and then you rattle something back, and then they retort and get a little feisty, and then it gets a little heated, and then they go, hey, man, uh, you're starting to get a little angry. Let's just drop it. It's yeah. like, fuck you, fag. You fucking started it. Now you're going to tell me to fucking drop this right now? Yeah. You're the one that came at me. Well, no, you started it with your bit. No, I didn't. I just did a fucking bit. I didn't yeah. call you personally and yell it into your goddamn voicemail and say, listen to me right now. Hey, you got me all wound up. Yeah, look at Joe. <laughs> Joe is fucking <laughs> feeling. That's how you deal with these jerk offs. Hey, Bobby. I, I, like, I like that say, nobody uh, in this room can fight, too. We all talk tough. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, you something. Fuck up. I'll fucking what? I'll kick your ass. Okay, hey, well, fuck listen, up. settle down. Where's but Bobby going to sit? But it's not about beating somebody up. It's literally just about responding just, meanly. Nah, so, you can sit over there. That's okay. What an idiot. That, oh, that's so, your picture. So here's the... <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the uh, here's the post. So it all, everybody's saying really nice shit and everything. Uh -huh. This guy comes on. He's he's like third from the bottom too. Holy shit! Really? What a turd of mammoth proportion. Shrugs. Send it to SNL. Maybe they'll use it. Oh. Let's see. Tra let's see. Tracy. Sounds like a compliment. Let's see. Let's see. Guy with a girl's name. Let's see what he. The guy with a girl's name. Let's see pictures. Hold on, let's just, go to his profile for okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, so this is <laughs> oh god, that oh, guy. God. It's one of those uh, guys. Yeah. And his top friends, there's Bobby Kelly, fucking traitor. Ah, fucking Bobby. <laughs> of course he likes Bobby. Right, his top friends and Big A. <laughs> that's, and let's, that's my uncle Tracy. And let's see the response. Shut up, no, oh, let's Jesus. See the response. All right. <laughs> Shot off. Oh, he's got a big <laughs> fantasy background. He's got pictures. what he got? A World of Warcraft or fucking? Wow. What is so, that? I don't know. Oh. Let's. But I went. Oh, oh what a tool. Ugh. Uh, oh, his pictures are terrible. Uh, oh, it's a donkey uh, in a big hole, and it says asshole. There's that. Uh, uh, it's a little foghorn leghorn, which I'm a fan of. Oh, he's looking cool oh, right that shirt. There. Stop and look at that shirt. He probably went like, that's a cool picture. I'm going to post that. Look at that shirt. That him a... alone, like uh, Joe said, <laughs> with a, a fucking shirt. What is that? What Shadow kind of shirt is palm that? trees. That's a dangerous palm tree shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a James Gandolfini yeah. Yeah. shirt if yes. I have ever fucking seen one. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Is, he, is he on your friends list? Yeah, we're Bunny, friends. Why wouldn't you just dismiss, unfriend him, and then block him on Twitter yeah. again? Like that, that's, well, and then that's the end of your knowledge of his, of his life. Because I got my emotions got in the way. So now, so I, so I saw we were friends, and then I saw that I had messages with him, right? So here's the thing. This is from when Patrice was sick. Hey, Joe, anything on Patrice at all? Not seeing any updates anywhere. Hey, no shoulders. Any chance the new, you know what, dude, podcast will have a video element like you stream in the f f future? Love it, exclamation point, even though my music intro was better. This is the guy that wrote the intro oh, music to the podcast. This is a good intro. Not as good as yours. It fucking stunk. Not as good as yours. Ah, like this it. fucking asshole yours trashed the me. Best. Would you but then Joe responded. Right, you're right. This fucking guy. <laughs> Joe responded you. nicely. You're right. Joe responded nicely. I'm not sure, pal. Hopefully this is guaranteed. That's a question for Bobby, dude. Like yeah, that's yeah. way back in December. Yeah, very nice. And then he writes that thing. What a turd of a whatever under the video. So then I go to him and I go, why leave the hateful comments on my page? I don't get it. Like we we talked to this guy through the podcast. I was always we were cool with him. Right. This is what he writes back. Wasn't hateful. Instead of kissing your butt and saying I loved it, I was honest. I found it to be pretty bad and not something I cared for at all. Seems too put on. Too is spelled wrong. The camera doing close-ups of the girl's reaction made it look completely put on like a skit. It was a skit, was. you fucking asshole! But it Do you was. think it was really me and Anthony standing in a concert line? You <laughs> fucking idiot! It's supposed to be that. No, no. It's what? supposed to be exactly what it was. What tipped it off as a skit? The opening credits? Yeah. <laughs> what? Key music?
Holy shit. And us talking and dressing like we don't talk or dress. Wasn't a whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What an uh, asshole. Like they had dressing like we don't talk. <laughs> yeah. What did the others just get? The cutaways to Sam and E Rock acting yeah. like they didn't know who we were? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, anyway. Yeah, what a um, skit like. And for a skit, I guess it was okay if you like SNL type stuff. I don't. I don't. I like your comedy stand-up much more than the skit material. And, if, and Anthony's a funny fuck and can't believe he wasn't the first to point out the, tr the dry cornball thing that shaped up to be his... That his, shaped up to be yeah. what? Yeah. Uh, sorry, man. Wasn't trying to be a total douche, but felt like I had to stand up with a real opinion yeah. All right. rather than slobber on your ass cheeks. I guess I could have followed the rule if you don't have something nice to say, then don't blah, blah, blah. All the blahs are spelled wrong but you put that video out there so to be fair you should be okay with the feedback you get well what i was thinking See, when i wrote this uh... when i wrote this joe i wanted to help you <laughs> okay and that's why i put tracy instead of me because i thought it hit too hard <laughs> See, I don't think this. I don't think him criticizing it was unfair. It was the way he did it. As it was a jerk off just unfriend the guy and don't i mean you know don't don't I hate him, but just on, why would you? Why would you be? Why would you allow him on your friends? He can write what he wants, but why would you have him as a friend on yeah, Facebook? Yeah, but yes. that's not. That, that's too far. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. acting like a real critic. You're a fan of Joe. Right, right, You're right. a friend of his. Just say, dude, I wasn't a fan that much. You don't have to go into the. Fu I mean, a whole article of why you didn't like a five minute skit on YouTube. You know what happened? The way you right. here's here's, here's, what, here's what <laughs> fucking <laughs> happened. Are you Tracy? You cunt. <laughs> Dude, here's what happened. The way you spoke with him before, you he's your friend now. So I, you're pal, I, of and he's talking to you like, you know how everyone slams course, each other yeah. in here? He's one of the guys now. Oh, I'm fucking friends with Joe DeRosa. No, you're not. You're a Facebook fucking leech. Yeah. Hey, Joe, Don. you and me are friends. Remember the time I asked you about your friend that was right. sick that yeah. I never met that you actually... It's like, dude... Yeah. Uh, you Dad. know, you know the names and work of people that I know. It doesn't right. mean they're mutual friends between the two of us. That's it. It doesn't, and because I talk personally on this show, doesn't mean you fucking know me. And it's it's oh, it just drives me fucking crazy. I've bitched this about about this to Bobby so many fucking uh, times. No, it's the I worst. Can't but stand it. I you're getting used to it. I'm sorry, Bobby. You're getting used to it. But you, the more the more it happens, the more adjusted to it you get, and the more you realize just insult them once. Block them, and you literally, if they're killed in drunk driving accidents, you'll never know. Never I don't know. even insult them anymore. I used to do the same thing. I used to follow them, uh, DM them, them, insult them, a but now I just I block them. Here's the thing, too. You'll get a message from somebody else. This is why I love Patrice, because he would block somebody for trying to get somebody back That's in. That's what I did. Yeah, I was just saying thing. that. I do the same thing. It's like, get the fuck out of here. No. But and it, now you're shilling for this guy? Boom, you're but, gone, too. But they don't understand. It's like they say fucking terrible shit. You can only wake up, I was telling Norton this, you can only wake up and be called fat and hope you die so many times before you actually pull the trigger and take yourself out. Jesus. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm funny, but I'm, I'm human. I wake up and feel like shit. And then Humans. You get some... <laughs> oh, 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 this is Jesus. the problem with Norton. You know what Norton is? <laughs> this is what Norton is. Right after he said, no, this is himself. what Norton is. Right Norton, Norton is the reason he actually helped me. <laughs> like go, he went, took me to the grocery store. We talked. He got me oh. on the Weight Watchers app. He's literally there saying, "Dude, don't eat that. Don't do." This. Really, he's like Mr. Miyagi. But yeah. imagine if Mr. Miyagi uh, uh, helped him, helped him, the Karate Kid, Daniel, and then yeah, Daniel. <laughs> and then when he took him to the thing to set up the the fight, he actually just started kicking the shit out of Daniel <laughs> with fucking uh, with the blonde haired yeah, the blonde haired guy. guy. Exactly. Uh, That's uh, yes. I Miyagi yeah. Yeah. walks over to Elizabeth Shue at the end. <laughs> Your faggot boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> his, little, his little ankle That's out who there. Norton is. <laughs> yeah. He's an evil Mr. Miyagi. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Boots is going to shoot Oh, zero. God, Chip. What? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me ask you this, because uh, we're all big, big fanboys in our own right of you know, music and movies and all that shit. I it's hate like, music. Yeah, I hate movies. All right. I hate music and movies. I hate movies I'm, under five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate movies under five minutes. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, they're mammoth like lumps it. of shit. I don't, yes, I don't blame you. Mammoth lumps uh, of shit. I mean, it's good if you like that SNL skit shit. Uh, <laughs> but w here's the thing. This is the one thing I hate about... I, I, I like that Twitter and Facebook provide open discussion. I think that's pretty cool. But what bothers me is I'm a fan of so many musicians and whatever, 
and a lot of the musicians I love have put out bad albums. Mm -hmm. Never in a million fucking years would I write to a band that I admired or respected and go, you know uh. what, dude, let me tell you, this last album, here's where you went wrong. It's like, who the fuck am I to do that, man? Or if you did it, or if you did it, there's been Aussie songs I didn't like, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't address it like, hey, that you're a you're shitty. I'll be like, yeah, I, I like that. I don't like that song as much and as the other ones. And it's not kissing your ass not doing that. Yeah. Like, like no. he's saying, oh, I'm not going to kiss your ass. Well, that's, you don't have to do that. It's not but, considered kissing yeah, you're ass not going to go to your mom, like and go, your mom and go, you fat, you fat mom. Um, you're not what you used to be, you fat mom. feel embarrassed. But, <laughs> make her feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mike, but the question still remains, like, even if you said, like, with the Ozzy example, hey, man, there's songs I don't like, but... You would say that if it was prompted, if somebody mm. asked you, yeah. would you go out of your way to write to him right. and go, yeah, let me tell you, my, let me no. give you my pointers. Never. That's, that's the point I don't get. It's like, I, who does that? Because you're going to stand though, this show creates a vibe of we're all hanging out. Even the people uh -huh. listening are like, dude, we're all friends. We're all hanging out. These guys fucked with each other because they're such good friends. And we allow them yep. in on that because we bring them in on the show. We talk to them on Twitter. We fucking do all that shit. So when they write in, it's like them being part of the gang, even though it's like, look, no, yes. you, you, there's, a, there's a fine line that we always walk between really hurting each other's feelings and getting into a fight and actually having a laugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Norton doesn't walk <laughs> with me at all. He just steps on my heart. But That's not true. Uh, my just, fat heart, apparently. I just, I, I just step I'm in kidding. the holes behind you. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like that we both did a good fat oh. joke on me. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, they, but that, that's the thing is when they write back, dude, I was just kidding. I have so many emails. I was just trying to be part of the show, what you guys do. No. Yeah, you know, dude, I don't know you. Not. I've known Norton for fucking 20 years. Yeah. I've known Joe for six months. <laughs> you don't jump up on the stage with a band that you like. <laughs> well, I'm you're sorry. Going to I got a, a message popped up, and I missed it. I'm sorry. Was it another oh. mean one? I, no, I thought it was, but it was actually nice. Oh, <laughs> oh that would have been fucking funny. I'm sorry. What did you say? Nah, it was too late. I, <laughs> and by the way, did I catch a fucking beating last oh, night? God. Oh, God. Oh, I got pictures. Why, I was, were you, uh, why were you getting I, beat on? I was standing the there. Oh, I was man. standing there after the uh, my set, and this kind of cute, really cute girl actually came up to me. Total Norton chick. Total. Oh yeah. I mean, listen to me. If Norton has a type, this is the type. She was really? A little smaller than I like, but she came up and she was like, "Hi." Yeah, but her cock was big. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect Norton chick. <laughs> but she's like, uh, "I really loved your set downstairs. Uh, oh. I'm a big fan. I love your stuff." I'm like, well. "Oh, thanks." And I immediately said to her, uh -oh. like, we were just talking. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot. And I, I always try to find out who they're with. You always do. It's the first thing. So I'm like, um, I'm like, are you from the city? She goes, yeah. I'm like, well, you here with a big group? Like, I'll never say who you with. Oh, that's funny. You're here with a big group? You, mind mind you, a big group of people. Mind you to set up a little bit, though. Me, Keith, Tom Papa, DeRosa. Oh, no. We're a foot away at a table. At the table. Oh, and I'm no. standing, watching this broad. She comes up with oh, no. her little starlit eyes looking up at Norton. Norton, you're going to, he saw her come up and he became that Norton. Uh -huh. Like, you know, TV Norton. Oh, like, hey, no. how are you, right? <laughs> yeah. He lit up. It was like a moment. And you guys are just and like, we, like we, wolves look, waiting. No, no, no. We all, when we see Norton, was, you, you, you always back off, but you see it. We're oh, like, yeah, look yeah, at this yeah. motherfucker. And then we see them talking, having a nice little conversation. And then the photo I'm about to show you here. Oh, I'll bring it over to you. Oh my God! We, uh, I, nothing. Oh my God! Well, hold, I, I said to okay. her, I'm, I'm like, "Are you here?" And she goes, uh, "She goes, well, I'm here alone." Oh. And, or she said something like, "Would it be weird if I was here alone?" I'm like, "No, people go out alone." And I'm like, um, and then she goes, "No, no, but I'm here with my friend." And uh, I could see a guy lurking, <laughs> probably about six or seven feet behind her, and. Uh. Uh, I immediately knew that that's the guy she was with by the way he was standing away. Uh, it was a crowded area, but I just knew. And then um, he kept trying to get her attention. She was ignoring him. Oh, no. Um, she was, like, talking to me. and I, I, he was, He's like, uh, you, you, you want a drink? And I'm like, your friend is talking. And then he said, like, okay. And then he needed her ID. And then to give her the drink. Like, she just oh, kept turning boy. around and talking to me. But I literally didn't know. But look at the friend. He was a fucking. He was an eleven. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah. Okay. Look, look at how tall. Look how much of a man he is. He He's was real really man. well built. His arm is the size of one of his thighs. Oh. But I tell you, honestly, he literally looked like he rolled out of the Captain America super soldier <laughs> machine. <laughs> but I didn't care. Right into the comedy cellar. I, <laughs> but I didn't give a fuck about him though because she was totally ignoring him and talking to me. But then he came up. He was. He was very nice. He wasn't a dick. 
But it was like, I don't know if they're boyfriend and girlfriend. All right, enough explanation, dummy. No, we explain. made fun of him yeah. for around 45 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> we trashed little fucking goat boy. Oh, that would have been, you know what? That's a perfect situation. We, should, we, yeah. we, told, we started going, hey, stop su sucking your stomach in, stupid. <laughs> I did catch a beating. But uh, Keith, I wanted it for the record that I did establish immediately that I knew. Uh, right. Keith, uh, his posture Jim went Kets. from. He tried to make shoulders. He, he made shoulder pads with napkins, like five napkins. <laughs> on each you kept saying that. You kept going, yeah. I knew. I knew the whole time. I did. And Keith was doing cl classic Keith Robinson during a trash hit. You knew nothing. <laughs> Shut your fucking trap. We're not finished yet. You knew nothing. <laughs> and Jim would go, no. And Keith would go, shut up until we're yeah. finished. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be caring, but they, so they were funny. standing right there. The guy and girl were right there. They were still a foot oh. away from us. They could hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They could hear everything we were saying. But here's the thing. That broad, she was downstairs right when you, Aziz, got off. She tried to come out yeah. uh, and go upstairs, and the guy wouldn't let her because you can't just leave the comedy cellar. Yeah. You need a stamp receipt. He's like, no, I need a you stamp receipt or your yeah. waitress. She goes, well, my boyfriend's inside. Oh. Uh, so I thought she was going up to see Aziz, but she might have been going up to see you. Uh, but then he wouldn't let her up. She tried to sneak away from her boyfriend while he was in the show. And then when you left, she sat down next to Keith. Yeah. And tried to like get on with Keith. No, and you Keith she, told her to beat it. She's not. I don't think she's. He said, "Get out! Come on! What are you doing, little girl? Get the fuck I, out I of here!" I don't think she's out to fuck somebody. Here's what we're, like, we're talking, and she's like, "I'm such a big fan, like of Aziz and you." And she's oh, a comedy fan. I'm such a big fan. Well, not of you, of the whole genre. No, but she was. <laughs> she was like, Thanks. and then she goes, and then she goes. Uh, I would, I wouldn't mind working here. Like she's one of those girls who's really hot. But is literally just a huge comedy fan. Fuck her. But, but yeah, exactly. Fuck her. I stop making fucker. excuses for her, Jim, and waste for yourself. My fucking time. No, I'm, I'm saying, such a, I'm such a big no, 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 fan not. of making my boyfriend jealous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, suck exactly. famous yeah. cock. This no. fucking guy uh, works out every I, day as a fucking Adonis, and he looks like a piece of shit in front of a bunch of right. nothing. That's good for us. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, true. What I'm saying is, I'm not justifying. I'm saying that's how I felt. Like, okay, I wouldn't have fucked her. I wouldn't have had a shot of fucking her anyway, because she wasn't. They weren't fuck Fucked you? Are you no. out of your mind? No. She would have fucked you if you paid her the right amount of money. <laughs> Maybe she would have. But that, but that's the type of girl that never fucks me. Now you didn't no, even. That's the comedy girl, fan. That's the type that's of girl that, girl that never fucks anybody. Like she's there right. to make her boyfriend. She, what she was doing was the whole like, look at me. That's I'm that's talking a, to the comedians, sucker. Like and, she was and, doing that whole fucking that thing. Seems you, very, no, that's you got low self, dude. You, the girlfriend you've had and the chicks you bang are fucking. Smoking. I don't mean that. Yeah. I mean, but that type of vibe when a girl comes up to me and then they're like, I would love to work here. They're looking like that. Here's Here's another example. I was at the cello one night, and there's this fucking smoking, uh, sexy fucking blonde who keeps looking over at me. And I was at the table by myself, and I actually just waved her over because she was at the bar with her girlfriend. So I waved her over. Come here. She sat down. And just, it turns out she was a Canadian stripper, and uh, she was really attractive, and she was flirting with me. But I knew it was too good to be true because that's not the way chicks that fucked me act. I know how girls that fucked me act, and it's not the hot girl that comes up and just starts, Nope. <laughs> no. no. I, cause I know what I look. If I'm Russ Beneath, maybe, but I'm Jim Norton. That's not gonna work. So I'm like, okay. So it turns out she's a big comedy fan. She was loving being at the table and talking to the comedian. Oh, guy, I love Colin. Oh, I love it. But she just loved us all the stand-ups, and was never gonna. Fuck. How long did it take you to tell her to get the fuck away from you? No, we talked for a while, but then she went on too much of the downstairs. But it was she was a little too eager to find out where she was sitting downstairs. So I helped her, and I wound up going to lunch with her and her friend. But knowing that it would what? never go anywhere, and why not never lunch? Yeah, why not? Because it's like there was no reason not to. Yeah, she there she is. was nice. No, no, no. But you, you got to take a shot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a shot. But I proved myself yeah, right. It is, though. I'm absolutely right. And she wants nothing to do. But you got to take a shot. You, you have to. Have to. Have to. But, but I confirmed that I was right. But I confirmed that I was right. The chick last night, you, you, uh, you never even thought of maybe asking for her number. I did immediately. But the guy was. Yeah. I wanted to know what the what the status was with the guy. But who cares? Nah, I don't do that because I don't want to make him humiliated or not. It's not even a thing of being angry. Dude, I saw the picture. <laughs> Fuck him. Look at that. Let him feel humiliation. But he didn't do anything. He was a nice guy. I felt bad for him to have to deal with that shit. Because I put myself in a guy's shoes. Like that's embarrassing when your fucking chick is rapping with good. everybody. It's like shut up. Good, good looking fucking cunt. Fucking no mercy, Kumia today. Every fucking <laughs> yeah. person we bring up, fuck him, that cocksucker. Yeah, I guarantee he has his he has his other women out trying to net that bitch right now and bring it back. To 
to the compound. <laughs> but you can see the way she, it wasn't just me. She wanted to talk to, release her in the back, go swim in the pool. Hey, make it. She wanted to talk to Aziz. She wanted to talk to Keith. She, yeah. Anybody on the show, I just happened to be the first I one she Joe spoke Red, to. She, she was using all you guys to fucking get her boyfriend jealous. There's yeah, that yeah. whole thing going no, on where I, she feels she's really? got to keep him no. on his fucking no toes. I, I, no She was a hot chick and he was a good looking guy. I he just... Left. He left pissed. Oh, did he? No, dude, you're wrong. He was fucking mm. annoyed, dude. Mm. She sat with Keith. Was it her boyfriend she went from or you? Though? She went from you uh, to Keith. That's fucking bad. Either way. It was it a was, boyfriend. It, yeah. He, he, and here's the thing, though. Even if it wasn't her boyfriend and it was just some guy that she was with, yeah. you know, the fu she knew the fucking score. It's that, yeah. it's that fucking thing. You know, there's drunk chicks in the lobbies at the comedy clubs after the show. They're hanging all over you. They got a rock the size of their fucking eyeball on. Or it may have just been her friend who wants to fuck her who she's friends with. There's nothing like busting a nut on a wedding ring. Holy yeah. Shit. Watching her clean that thing off in the sink. Just blurk a blurk <laughs> over her hand and pours over there like fucking drizzle, strudel drizzle. <laughs> strudel drizzle. Oh, that's like disgusting. The, the ones you can make yourself? <laughs> like strudel drizzle. <laughs> you whore. I don't believe that chick was going to fuck up. I, I, she was too eager to talk to another comedian. Yeah. She wants to work there. She probably wants to do stand-up. Another? She, one of those fucking chicks that she, really loves she, comedy. She disrespected her fucking guy. Even I know. I didn't like not, that either. He left pissed off. Did he yeah, leave her yeah. there? Yeah. He le no, oh, they man. left together, but she wound up leaving. But he was like, you know, he was, he was that fucking was aggravated. That was so like intentional then. Yeah. Come I'm on. I'm so fucking tired of girls doing this. <laughs> and, then, and I've been in that situation where I'm the fucking idiot standing there. Of course you Except have. I don't have... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to insult myself. <laughs> Let me get there is nobody, <laughs> there's man. nobody faster than Norton. I oh, mean, yeah. Look out. Norton is lightning fast. I saw his fucking eyebrow twitch as he started to speak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does. He starts fucking shaking like he's having a premonition. <laughs> Like shaking bake or something, right, guys? Uh, exactly, oh, Chip. And then he does that. It fucking hate But Chip. it's it's. I'm so tired of that shit. Like chicks will do. Not all chicks, but a lot of chicks will do that. And you're sitting there, and they're doing that. I'm gonna make you jealous, shit. And Dude, I, it's and so I, uncomfortable. I pulled the car where I go. Hey, fuck you. I'm out of here. Yeah. Wait, why? What's oh. the matter? Don't. Oh, I'm just talking. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah, you're just doing that. If I did it, I'd be a fucking asshole, and I'd be in an argument. There's no right. better feeling than actually getting composure on a, in a on a date with a cunt, and yeah. actually being. What am I doing? I, I did it one time. A girl picked me up smoking. I mean, a f way out of my league, smoking hot, and she picked me up at a Mercedes. She was from <laughs> Staten Island. <laughs> Dude, it's hilarious. <laughs> he he actually did the joke in his head. He did. He held it back. Jimmy, can I guess? Can I guess what you were gonna say? Okay. Yeah, it came up. It came after picked me up with. <laughs> I know. We, 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 forklift in there. Yeah, I actually <laughs> flatbed. I actually thought it was out of my league. Oh, I, I had a couple for those. <laughs> but no, that's why you can't even talk around Norton. No, because it's. It, <laughs> She, two, oh. we, we we went two lights on Lexington Ave, and she was just a fucking cunt. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'm out." And I and I just got out of the car <laughs> at the red light. And she's like, "You'll leave." And she was fucking wow. one of the doing? hottest chicks ever. She was just being a cunt. She wasn't the girl I met two nights ago wow. at the club when she was into me. She showed up like just being a fucking cunt. Two lights in, I was like, I'm all right, take it easy, I'm out. Slammed the fucking door and left. She's like, you're leaving, really? And then she started switching it around like, what did I do? Fuck oh, you. That what did I do shit? Fuck I'm you, I'm so man. tired. I was in a deli by my apartment one night. And I'm with this girl. <laughs> it's it's shut, it, shut it off. It's not Norton. everything that's being said is fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I know. I, You're I'm like a fucking thing. Japanese joke machine. Shut it down. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Shut, yeah, friends. but no. Your face. Your face. You just did a joke without doing no, a joke. No, joke. You said it in Listen to my friend. You had nine fat jokes <laughs> waiting. No. I got it. No. So, I, this, it, it was with this girl that I that I'd been fucking around with. And she never fuck. Here's my thing. I'll pay for everything all the time. Oh yeah. But if a girl doesn't at least go, hey, can I give you? I just, I just want the gesture. You know what yeah. I mean? Just, what? just what? What? I can I that. give you? Yeah. Fucking kidding me? No. I thought you, I thought you were gonna say See, it doesn't say thank you. Know you. Where I stand on this? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did three podcasts about it. Are you a chiseler? You no, keep skating? no, no. <laughs> you don't tell a girl to pay for it. No, 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 no. I don't tell girls to pay. I'm saying, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you, if a girl doesn't even go, hey, can I, 
And then J- I wouldn't care if she tried no, me neither. to pay or not. You're, uh, honey, you're alone on this one. <laughs> you're on a date. I'll tell you, you I think I just going to say she didn't thank you. She should say thank you and oh, be appreciative. Or she should suck your dick or something. Yeah. Oh, I Will think a chick should... Uh, I, yeah, I was already married. Then she should not offer you any money for deli I think food. It, I, think, <laughs> I think a chick should always go, hey, do you need, just, as, just to go, that's, to me, that's the way of saying, hey, I appreciate was your she, paying Was she trader. a three or better? Uh, yeah. Then, then you fucking should, well, should have been appreciated to her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what this you story wanna... is probably going to go nowhere now. <laughs> did you want to reach into her purse, like fake reach into her purse for yeah. a couple bucks? Yeah. Like we do when we're out with an agent, you fake reach. Yeah. It's a fake reach. Yeah, right? dude, nah. fake reach actually, is a gesture. Actually, my agent's fake reach. Like I'm the that. one who winds up paying. Really? It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't like even the thought of that because if she's saying that she would be willing to pay for the meal, that means she's not willing to pay for it in other ways through maybe some physical contact. Right. Oh, listen, hubba, hubba. Yeah. We don't all live in fucking J.R. Ewing estates <laughs> out in Long Island, all right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you sometimes should, it's a little you tight. Should, you should have a cowboy hat. You should wear a cowboy hat. Should I walk around? A cowboy yeah, hat, a you big should. white Stetson. Yeah, you don't gotta nice. pay for nothing, little darling. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> now, foxy lady, why don't you come over my? Come on over. I got Keith on the barbecue. <laughs> I got naked girl in the pool and people in the movie room right now. <laughs> junior, Junior, fetch me some of them ribs. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> We're gonna ah, take yeah. over this whole street. That's my goal. Well, lovely ladies. <laughs> yeah, uh, I fucking be. as many times. I've been at your house. I have slept in a different room every <laughs> single time I've been at your house. <laughs> I've never yeah. slept there. You slept in the I never slept there. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you were fucking disaster. Uh, we you got to get fall down the goddamn drug. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, come can, over. Can we come over and watch oh, the fights? Oh, fuck yeah. Come I'm over sorry, earlier. did you not ask? Yeah, I did. I texted him. Oh, no, okay. no, he texted me. I'm having a big fucking blowout. Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Are we oh, watch, yeah, yeah. Can we yeah. watch yeah. the fights, though? In the theater, yeah. Are we gonna, am I going to have to fight a drunk fan? Dude, when you said fucking die. <laughs> no. And it's a girl? No. It could be, yeah. No, no, it's going to be a big, we'll watch it in the theater. Theater, uh, the fight in the theater and shit. Have it all great. over. Yeah, yeah, well, it Simulcast. Will be. It yeah. will be. Put it outside. It's going to be even. <laughs> it's going to be big. But when Joe was over, I was just getting fucking sick and I couldn't even talk. It was fucking horrible. I had a fever. I was at death's door. Did he sit and I walked oh, terrible. in? Terrible. I walk in, he calls me, I'm in, I'm in South, I'm in Trenton. I was in Trenton doing a show. Night. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they said you were coming. Then I had a bad set at the fucking club. Oh, I, 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 I'll talk about what, it. Talk what about happened? It. I was at uh, McGuire's, which I love. The oh, fucking right. people that own McGuire's, the nicest people. They treat. I, I've never been treated that nice. But yeah, yeah. the last show, just drunk, some two drunk people, mm-hmm. and it, I just wasn't ready for it. Like I wasn't prepared mentally. Wow. First time in ten years where I almost lost. Where I almost was wow. like, "Wow, I'm gonna have like a just a dead set for like the like 30 minutes." I've well, seen you destroy people there. I dude, it was the yeah. other one out in oh okay, that out one. in F- McGuire's, and this guy was so fucking drunk with like dr- six of his pals, Ugh. and he was just fucking hey, you fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, was and he yelling were, at you or each other? Yelling at oh, me. Good. And what the club do? Uh, they they wound up telling him to shut the fuck up, but you, ever, you I was I was caught in the middle of fucking with him, and I just had a bad set and they got me a ride home a limo thing home so i was like fuck it uh, if i went to your party i would have done bad things i would have ate everything yeah and it fucking probably just lost my marriage i would have drank i probably would have drank <laughs> i'd still be there right now get in the pool just doing tech stuff for you around the house <laughs> and daisy dukes in a hat <laughs> nice <laughs> that a it was a fun pitch? uh it was a fun night Oh, it was definitely fun. I was down in fucking Trenton. He texted me as I'm I'm go- I'm just doing a benefit with Vinnie Brand. I'm walking. Well, we gotta go up and do the thing. Uh, yeah. He goes, you ready to go on? Yeah. And I go, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go on. He goes, he goes, can you do a meet and greet after with the charity? <laughs> oh, shit. And I go, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, Vinnie, no, no problem. I'm literally two seconds after I said that, I get a text from Anthony. Hey, dude, we're partying. Party can you come over. Fucking <laughs> booze, broads, <laughs> come on. Fucking Trenton. Yeah. I go, Vinny. I can't do the meet and greet. <laughs> and he goes, why? And I go, I gotta go. Why? And I go, I just gotta go. I gotta go. Were there girls there? Oh, yeah, yeah, Yay! Yeah. Guess who's ready? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's got the biggest boner. 
Why? Why? What are you Why? doing? I'm in need. His Why? jeans, his, Jimmy's jeans are pushed out so far. It looks like it's all bent, too. <laughs> oh, my God. That's boner. fucking I great. I couldn't tell where the boner was. <laughs> I know. It was erect in was three like, different places. It was like he had a giant pretzel in his pants. <laughs> like you couldn't tell where it began where it ended. That sounds fun. Wow, you really have a... Uh, yeah. Are you guys sure there's going to be girls here this weekend? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I drove 90 <laughs> fucking minutes, dude. I was flying. Was flying crazy. from Trent. I walk in. He, I see Anthony. He's holding a 16-ounce Captain and Coke. And I go, how you doing? And he goes, oh, dude. Uh, my throat was <laughs> gone at that point. The rub's good for my throat. And yeah. I was like, oh, You can never get to Anthony. That's it's not... too late. That's the beauty. It's, if it's like 10 o'clock, you're like, I got dinner planned. I'll be over at 1.30. Yeah. Fine. We're yeah. here. Yeah. Rum isn't good for your yeah. throat, by the way. No. That's yeah. a, no. no. It's a pirate myth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are you in Penzance or something? Oh Jesus! It a rub is good for your throat. Take it, matey. Anything would have been good though. Anything to kill the fucking pain uh, would have been would have been good. So oh, we, how dude. about this Saturday night? We do this. We just do yeah. us four fucking hand bones. Yeah, just and fucking all women, just chicks, no yeah. other guys. Well, that's that's my modus operandi. We shut it down. I can't come on Saturday. Oh, get a door man. guy. Get a door guy. It's only fun. broads. Only, only broads. broads. That's it. Just broads and us three now. Chicks. And stop Chicks. letting creepy fans in there. Once in a while, it's good, but some of those fucking wackos that show up. Oh, I know. Well, that yeah. one guy we talked to was nice. I like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fuck he's him. Like out. There's a couple. Yeah. Yeah, dude, there's a couple a that are fucking... Uh, I just hate when they get drunk and they open it, dude, and they start doing, dude, fuck, shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's literally like going to the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> like, Anthony Hefner, dude, I and know. there's fans there, and people have certain access to certain parts of the house. <laughs> yeah, other it's people so, don't. It's so fucking funny. That's he hilarious. sent me a You're photo right. of his hot tub with just all broads in it. And I almost left my gig. I was like, I was just going to fuck it. Keep, <laughs> prorate me on Saturday. I'm out of here. It's like the Playboy Mansion. If Hugh Hefter was just drunk and screaming the N-bomb at his fucking house <laughs> with, with, the, with girls from the Magic Garden and his fucking, <laughs> fucking nine-year-olds. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yes. Uh, it's not like the Playboy Mansion. Uh, it's like it's... fucking Barfly meets Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Barfly? <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Well, uh, it, it really, and it's getting. Yeah. This summer's going to be uh, uh, fucking crazy. Yeah, the whole thing with uh, uh, you know get, getting rid of the fucking girlfriend uh, for the beginning of the summer. This is just it already. It has debauchery written all over it. D dude, yeah, really? just can insanity. I jump in? I swear to God, they just did a thing. A happy birthday to Opie Greg, on Fox uh, News. Opie Hughes is on uh, fucking uh, uh, happy birthday. Oh, it is on. Oh, it, that's that's a that's really hilarious. Look at the picture they're taking the fucking Opie. They hate, he hates that picture. Opie, it's that's actually a real one. That's a real. Uh, that's a real birthday wish. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm not joking. I saw this picture. And I was like, oh my God, that looks like Opie. And I saw his name. I thought he died. I swear oh, to God, shit. I thought that's what that was. Wow. I thought that was like a. Oh, Memorial oh, thing. I, that scared the shit out of me. I for thought, a second. It, I, thought wow. it was, I thought it was a fake birthday wish. I thought it was like the yeah, ones yeah. that the fans do that on the they news do for Uncle Paul and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I didn't. Realize, I was like, oh, they got Opie. Oh, that's I missed. He meant this. <laughs> that's a long neck picture. Yeah, he doesn't He's like that picture. Today? Yeah, yeah. What do they well, call it? Younger. She got long neck. He hates that picture because his head was like superimposed on a neck. Yeah, they they the way his body was and the way his face was. The they had one picture that they liked. The neck down, and one picture they liked the neck up, so they put like his head on his body, and it. But they didn't cut enough neck off, so his <laughs> neck looks really long. It's like ET. So, dice. Did they they splice two pictures together? They spliced it. <laughs> like one was the body. Like let's say you have some fucking. Pig, but her face is like cute, you know? Like I throw a batch in her mouth. And then you've got another chick who's fucking dog ass fuck ugly. But her body, you know, you throw some goo in her asshole. Uh -huh. You mix and match, you g -g put them together, and, and they're all hot. Good to fuck in the face, the cunt, the ass, everywhere. G -g. I can listen to that all day. Uh, now I'll light a cigarette and smoke the room out. That's oh. a fucking creep. Yeah, he's fucking smoked six cigarettes in here. Oh, Dice was fucking in here smoking. You can re I thought you can smoke you it. Can't. You can't. Dice can play whatever he wants. Sitcom team. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> Dialogue next to each other. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, crazy neighbors. I was looking for a cue card. <laughs> yeah.
Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Chip. So, uh, wait a second. You know I have to call him. Sometimes you have to, now when you call him Horton's house, you have to talk to many different people Oh yeah. to get to Jim. Oh, you're a phone call guy, right? Occasionally. What? What, what does that mean? That means you don't just text to get your fucking point across. You gotta. When that phone rings, I'm like, uh, and now I know Bobby knows if you. I fucking absolutely know. <laughs> Bobby will know if you just blow off his call. So I gotta answer Bobby's call. Well, here it is: is that if you let it, if it rings more than two times, it's your phone's not off. You can you looked at it and phone's said, not off. You, have it with, you don't leave it at home. It's not on the cradle. I've never seen you with you not having your right, phone on you. Right, exactly. So you know. Yeah. yeah. Fuckers. Yeah. yeah. I just want I, I, I want everything dealt with in text form. I hate text. I love text. I hate long text people who yeah. text like a fucking, you know, a story to you. No, I don't, you're gonna read I don't even in a mind cab that. And you my have bro my up. brother fucking calls, and then I'm like, I'm, I don't want to talk. I'm not in the mood to talk, right. and, then, and then when I don't answer, he'll leave a voicemail, and then text me the whole thing, and I'm like, well, we could have started with the text. Bobby absolutely refuses to play by any text, anything, anything. We have, like, email chains about the book. Everybody's like, I think this, I think this, I think this. Phone rings, Bobby Kelly. You know, <laughs> 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 Well, those, you know that new, the new uh, me fucking chain thing where it keeps all the emails in one. I know, it's confusing. Yeah. It fucking blows. You don't like that? Confusing. Well, it's fucking eight things, on t and you got to scroll back. And well, then, you go through the, one the, first, the first email, and then you get uh, all the ones. This that, is why it sucks, no? because if you send me an email, you have the original email, and then he starts tagging it, and no one jumps in, it changes so if I go to search for it, it's not under your name anymore. It's uh, under Jim's name. Uh, and then if he's now it's on now it's not under Jim's name. It's under Joe's name. So it just keeps changing the actual original name. So you can't search for it or look for it. Oh, you, you that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it fucking blows. If it kept the original name and inside of that, I you just could don't get back to anybody on email. So it doesn't matter. To me. No, you really are just a fucking. I just I, I'll text you. I'll text you. That's the best way to get in touch with me. Is text. And yeah, I'll text he you loves back. a nice text. Yeah, he really I does love, love being text. disconnected. <laughs> I love a good text. With emotion. He doesn't want to hear your sure. voice. Hey, man. He doesn't want any human Send connection. A text if with you a picture. Call him, it's great. If you call him and leave him a voicemail, yeah. you'll be like, he hates me. What did I do? Because you won't hear from him. Oh, he two makes you the fat chick. But if you, he but if you text fetch. him, he's like, hey. Uh, hey, you broke Joey. your cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I really get back to you immediately with a text. Yeah, his but, text but message call, is good, I'm though. just like. I like Anthony's text messages. In oh, the summertime, full of in the summertime, Anthony's oh. text is a oh, good. Oh right, right. I've sent a few pictures. <laughs> oh, his. Oh, there's nothing better than a fucking Anthony text message with a pic in it. Like here we go. As soon as I always check Hold my phone. If today. it's Anthony texting and my wife, I throw my phone. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God bless you. It's an interesting summer. Fuck, dude. It should be fun. Yeah, well, you know, some guy, what are, you, are you a texter or a talker, Jim? Much more of a texter. Really? Yeah, yeah. Much more. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but I only call you once I'm in a while. I'm pretty good on the phone with talking, but You're when I'm great text, on the phone talking. I love texting. But how, how fun is the conversations? I've had it nothing fun. but fun I, laughing conversations You know what? With you. I never have a bad conversation with Bobby. I'm not sitting there going like, fuck it, off the phone. Right. We are. We laugh a lot on laugh, the phone. You but, make me laugh. But it's getting, it's, it's initially picking up that phone and being like, Making oh. the human contact. Yeah, I know it's hard. Yeah. Because you were molested. It, it, I was. <laughs> By a guy oh, that God, looked like me. Let me a Mexican. I, that Mexican guy, he almost molested me. He wanted I was kidding. To. I was no, joking. no, there was a Mexican guy that wanted to molest me. Really? He was all drunk at a party at the the ranch one day, and he goes, uh, he comes up to me, he goes, Hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm okay. He goes, hey. And then he just kept talking. He was all drunk, and he goes, What do you say me and you go into the bushes over there? Oh, jeez. You went and old school. I was, like, I was like all shocked and stuff, so I just kind of, and my father heard that, and he lunged over grabbed the guy's head and just started banging it off of some guy's old Ford pickup truck. And he turned out to be one of the uncles of, uh, of some of the Mexican guys that were yeah, at the and party. It, and in the and bushes was, was presents oh, and chocolate yeah, for you oh, for your birthday. You mean when you were a kid? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about a compound yeah. party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your dad Are you there and he, kidding he me? The Mexican head on a truck. Do you think I... I swear I, to yeah. God, I thought 
<laughs> you think, <laughs> do you think he'd turn down a Mexican guy at his party? No. The all, man punching me in said, the face. I don't know why he'd do that. First of all, I would have said, yeah, there's a, 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 the bushes get to work in the fucking bushes. You prick. That's so what, what happened? I hired you for. They were the uncle. <laughs> he was the uncle of some people. He was the uncle of some people that were there at the party. <laughs> so they they were like, oh, Joey, Joey, what? Are you doing? And he's like, this motherfucker, you know, trying to fucking pick up my my. I'm trying not to make him a fag son. <laughs> Did they beat your dad up? No, no, no. They were cool with it. They, they like, really were pissed at the uncle. I'm trying not guy. to make him a fag. You yeah. guys are really uh, his whole making mission. it difficult. It was his this, whole, yeah. This, it's like, come on. I just fucking, now i got to put another three weeks in just for this one episode. This kid's been begging me for roller skates for six months. De-queer him. <laughs> <laughs> he throws up when he watches baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like that was a that was a like I was just shocked. Like what was what? How old what? were you? Seventeen, eighteen? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I was driving. <laughs> yeah, you in the barn, fucking rubbing a, a horse vein mule. Yeah, I was probably was thirteen. That... Your dad didn't know that you solicited the Mexican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking put a burrito in my pants. Yeah. Hey, come you here. dipped your penis in the cuervo so it smelled like the worm, so he'd eat it. <laughs> Show you a little cock. <laughs> <laughs> little. Oh, uh, now nah, he. Uh, yeah, yeah. That that freaked me out though. I was like, what the fuck? Like that never happened. Didn't, as far as I remember. Didn't make your self esteem feel good though. Yeah, it kind of felt a little good. That yeah. Men were fighting. A Mexican you. guy wanted to take me to the bushes and probably kill me. He <laughs> murder me in there. after. After, yeah. He'd after probably I'm fuck sodomized. your throat and then choke you out of guilt. Oh, yeah. With a yeah. scarf. I'd have, been, I'd have been dad in some, <laughs> scarf. some fucking Orange County riverbed flood control <laughs> uh, <fucking> viaduct. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, was, I, was, uh, I was very shocked, though. But it was kind of cool to watch my father beat the shit out of the guy. That was fun. I never uh, got uh, molested, man. I never even got not approached. Not even approached? No. <laughs> yeah. I hope those memories come flooding back <laughs> in the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that he said it like he's kind of bummed out. Yeah, like, like oh, I never no, got nobody to. Nobody ever tried to fuck no me. Nobody ever tried to fuck me. I think it could have jarred yeah. loose a novel or something. I think there's, I think there's more <laughs> art <laughs> deep down in there somewhere. It's something. I need geez. something to bring it out. Yeah, it could have jarred <laughs> loose some good fucking creativity. Yeah, when I got that folk album out when yeah. I was 18 that I was <laughs> trying to write. <laughs> yeah. It would have been the first song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to write Tori amos -y. <laughs> Somebody yeah. touched my cooter. Songs. Yes. Joe DeRosa singing, I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 did, uh, did you get molested? Joe DeRosa singing one more time in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Get it for me one more time, you yeah. fucking Mexican oh, in the bushes. Yeah, that guy wanted me. <clears throat> Who wouldn't? I was a tussleable little lad. Yeah. Do you have any pictures of you when you were a kid anywhere on the oh, online? No. I was There's a lot of pictures, are. Anthony. <clears throat> little there, tater tot. Of a little kid? Yeah, I think so. I've seen the one of you when you were in your fucking metal stage with that no, awful no, fro. That was terrible. He was beautiful. Just unconditioned <laughs> hair. <laughs> unconditioned. Oh, looked like a yeah, fucking it haystack. <laughs> it was. It was awful. Yeah. But you then, uh, but no, before that, when I was like a little kid, uh, yeah. I, but I was such a little fucking, like, wimpy little cry funny. baby. Yeah. I was just always crying about something. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> My stomach hurts. Eh, the lunch I got was bad. Eh, oh God! I wish it's I, all making sense. Oh yeah, I wish I didn't know that, Anthony. No, it was all. It was all that's still I Anthony. Oh. This is just a facade. This gun-toting facade. I There's a scared down. little boy. There's a scared little boy behind the walls of that compound. Yeah, yeah he just wants a, ch a, 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 a chick. Anthony's Ricky Schroeder. He's in, just, oh, you know. yeah. in Lonesome Dove. <laughs> <laughs> Lonesome Dove one and two. <laughs> I, I was a little, like, just a little oh, fucking little, little Mary newt. kid. You're a little newt? That was terrible. Yeah. Just sad that the champ was dead. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. You're fucked. I, no, I, I, I've dealt with it. Sure I mean, you have. Yeah, you've got years. a fucking arsenal, and you fuck 18-year-olds. You've dealt with it. <laughs> yeah, fucking get shit-faced on every Friday and Saturday till Monday. Well, you, was, you're dealing with it. But, <laughs> but what? Is that me dealing with it? Know that you're enjoying your life I, now. I, I realized, like, after a while, like, I was just, uh, I think I was crying because my parents argued all the time, and I figured that was a good way to make them stop arguing. Right. Was by getting all, you know, eh, my stomach hurts. And they'd just be like, okay, shut up. Uh, row, you're a bitch. Joey, shut up. Go fuck yourself. Eh, and I'd just be crying. I don't know. I always cry. How did you deal with it? I don't know. I guess I just grew out of it. 
<laughs> I have no idea. Did you? I well, something tells me you're trapped at uh, 18. I would, uh, <laughs> would I love to see something just crack Anthony? Like some TV show, yeah. some yeah. emotional penguin show, or something just yeah. make you crack and see you well up, and then the pain from your childhood opens up, and then your whole life changes. Uh, the only thing that really gets me are those, like, watching the old uh, war documentaries and seeing, like, an old soldier start crying about fucking, you know, he gets like, and then he came in and he was carrying the, you know, bobbin, which, uh, like that stuff. That gets me. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony cries yeah, yeah, yeah. where he's you supposed well up, to cry. You yeah. well up when where? they start talking about Charlie? When they start talking about Charlie. <laughs> you find that touching? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean Anthony cries when he's supposed to cry? <laughs> when it's acceptable to cry. Because Anthony, I think he's probably much more emotional than he lets people know. I think really? he's a much, Yeah, I think you're deep down a much nicer guy. Deep down, I probably I am. think so. Yeah, get but, that out but he somewhere. does all this man stuff. Like, you know, he yeah. fucking has a gun, and he's yeah. a fucking guy's guy in NRA, yeah. and he only cries at the war vets. Because all guys, it's, no guy calls you a faggot. It, everything Anthony does is to prevent being called a faggot. Like, <laughs> no, no guy calls you a faggot if you cry watching a war document. Well, that's true. Like, you're allowed to watch a veteran get... If you watch a World War II veteran cry and you get choked up, that's acceptable to other men. Right. right? But if you, you could cry watching fucking, you know... Sophie's Choice. The yeah, voice. exactly, or something, yeah. I yeah, cried yeah. during the voice. The, the voice. Final. <laughs> Did you? God. No. Oh. Oh. No. You? I don't know. You might have. You're a fucking <laughs> creep. I am. You're, you're absolutely right. I do. I cry. I do cry a lot. I yeah. cry a lot. Yeah. I cry at wow. fucking anything. Do you think that was like from years of my dad trying to like yes. defag yes. me? Your whole life is built around not being a faggot. Yeah. That's what you have Man. an emotional checklist in your head. Anything you want to do, will this make me a faggot? Yeah. Wow. If, if no, you do it. If yeah. yes, you avoid it. Shit. Will colored shirts make me a faggot? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Dark blues, grays, and blacks. That's, yes. Will, dress, yeah, will dressing it. like a battleship make me a faggot? <laughs> no, it won't. So I'll dress like a I'll dress like a No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, 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 oh shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> you really are. You do have a checklist. You're trying not uh, to be a faggot in your forties. I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah. How does how does that happen? Yeah, I'll tell you how it happens. Just suck uh, a dick and get it over with. That would, Stop fighting it. Yeah. Should I? Yeah. No, I Dude, it's you know, you haven't sooner lived, or later. You haven't lived until you can't blow air out of your nose because it's all the way in the back of your throat. And you're like, oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Bobby's getting sick just thinking about it. He's not. Are you? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm getting, getting a heart excited. on it. <laughs> you want to hear something that will make Joe jealous? Well, uh -oh. oh, this made me so happy. It's got to be something to do with Bailey J. Oh, this broad. She it makes me so, so fucking happy. Bailey, yeah. She, I mean, look, man, she's fucking smoking. I don't give a fuck what you say. She's smoking. Right. And now that I'm friends with her husband, it kind of ruins it. Why? <laughs> nah, because now I can't fucking... I know, I can't watch her videos anymore. Kind of... Yeah. I feel, it... like, bad. I feel like, like I'm looking at, like, my like sister-in-law or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's just, really? I just don't have, like, the right feeling about it. Ugh. Yeah, it, it, it what? fucking... I don't know. That doesn't sound... Fucking, what, what, are you that fucking friendly? What, do you call me a faggot aunt? Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't cry, Joe. Hey guys, <laughs> Bailey J here. As we all know, Bobby Kelly is super gay for my dick. So it was no surprise when we all heard that the Bailey J show was moving to the Riotcast Network. Uh, so if you like real conversations and fake tits, I'm your man. Literally. So listen to the Bailey J show right Oh, uh, she's a fucking... Wow. She said that. I'm a, I got this promo. She goes... I didn't know what she was going to say. Everybody knows that Bob Kelly is super hot for my dick. I, I just, my dick plumped up. My, <laughs> wow. wife, my wife giggled like it was funny, and I just went, ha, ha, ha. You really want to, like, blow Bailey J? I don't want to, I want to fucking start off a little kissing. I don't want to just get right into, if I'm not that type of guy. But it will get to that point where you no. would go down on Bailey J. I wouldn't go, why are you going to make it dirty? I, because we've discussed why this can't before we? a, a bunch of times. And it usually gets to this Why? point where we try to figure out how far someone would go. Let's 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 not start with the least homo in the room, okay? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> let's. Not, I'm the one who's married, okay? I'm, what does that have to do with it? Exactly. So is John Travolta. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Uh, <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, can, oh, can he's, I he's trolling for big black cock. <laughs> As we start to talk about this, can I tell you? I was at my cousin's wedding this weekend, and my uncle, my uncle, who I've told 
he he's always like my friends at work they like ONA and they listen and I'm like oh don't ever listen just don't ever oh, listen oh wow yeah ever, so he comes up to me at the wedding he goes he goes you know I uh, I heard you on uh, Opie and Anthony oh. and I go okay and he goes <laughs> he goes I listened to the episode from whenever and I go okay and I couldn't remember when it was and he goes you remember what you were talking about like oh, that great. and I was like thanks here we go it's gonna be the Bailey J thing <laughs> my uncle's oh, gonna hear no. that I'm staying on blow Bailey J <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't want your and uncle and I'm just yours. braced and he goes he goes you're talking about uh, Billy Joel and how he stinks. And I was like, oh, oh, and then oh thank God. One of the most innocent things <laughs> that we talked about. I, I, wow. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. I wouldn't, I don't want to blow Bailey anymore because yeah, I'm yeah. friends with her husband. Yeah, no. Yeah, oh, he really don't, did. Don't throw in the little fucking like personal reasons. You wanted to blow Bailey J. I didn't want to blow her, man. He I never wanted, wanted to. I didn't want no. to blow her as much as he did. Oh. But I would. If she, he, I would. If she, I'll say she. If she got you in bed, yep. You slow down, slow down. Go ahead. <laughs> you would do anything at that point. Here's a scenario. You're ready? There. Here's a scenario. Where I'm up there, okay, mm -hmm. uh, upstate New York, near where they live. Matt and everybody's up there. All of a sudden, a tornado hits. Some bad shit happens. <laughs> He's okay? got a whole fantasy. I fucking all of a sudden <laughs> tornado hits. The fucking uh, I. Oh my god, it's crazy. We look fucking Matt. Mm. He's flown fucking away. Oh shit, he's dead. Okay, he's and then I got hurt. She's hurt, but I take care of her for a couple of days because nobody's around. So I take like care of misery. her. Misery. Yeah. And then <laughs> <laughs> you hobble, hobble Bailey J. I have to hobble a, a shemale just to get it, just to let it suck her cock. Oh god, she's tied down. You're sucking her cock. I'm gonna put popsicle sticks on the side of it because she can't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, I mean, you, Joe. No, I wouldn't need a stow storm or nothing. You wouldn't need a stow storm. A stow storm. A stow storm. You are really yeah. turned on. You bribe a dust. You, you, you cock a suck. I just started thinking about a bunch of white stuff, and I got excited. <laughs> That's the only part that would fucking, I think, would make me gag is jizz. Well, it, it, as a guy, it probably should. <laughs> you know, it's it. Don't act all high and mighty, little faggot. I'm not Listen, high and mighty. Yeah. Hey, no, I, was, I went through man training. I <laughs> I learned not to cry or suck a dick. Be, be a fag. <laughs> be tempted. My dad taught uh, me. <laughs> I can't wait until somebody's in your basement yelling outside to you on the jacuzzi, Ed, we can't get the karaoke machine working. And all they hear is, oh, be right Because <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing, sucking dick in my jacuzzi. <laughs> Look, if it's going to happen, that's where it's going to happen. We all know. You think? I yeah. think so. Where else would you yeah. do it? You're going to get sick you're of gonna do it. You're going to get right. all this pussy you're getting, you're going to get sick of it. And you're, you're just going to have to, you're going to have to advance to cock. Oh, no. Oh, God. First, it's going to be just getting head from her, like a girl with a dick. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> a girl with a dick. <laughs> then it's going to be, uh, just let me see it. Uh, let me see it. You're gonna pull. You're gonna pull it out with one finger, a little hook, index finger. Look, he knows the move. Cause gonna... he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> You've reached in and pulled the fucking dick out with the index finger. Bobby no. talks with such yes. intimacy. Of you, there. I. I mean, I'm not saying this to. A, I really believe in my heart that you've sucked a nice dick in your day. I, think I believe have. you have too. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Jim, you too. <laughs> I never have, I swear to God. <laughs> Stop it. But I don't know the tricks of, you know, I would just yank it out. I don't know what, what the do you fuck mean? You just doing. roughly yank a cock out of a panty? See you what know I mean? How fucking <laughs> awkward and like, 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 even being sexed up. Do you know how awkward and guilty you'd feel like with that falling zipper? Just trying to pull they don't a cock wear zippers. out of a pants? They don't wear zippers. What? what? You, you blowing a guy? Dude. What are you doing? Are you blowing a guy? So are you. No, they wear dresses. It doesn't matter. You're oh, blowing does. a guy. There's a big difference. Believe me, this is not a guy. What were you talking about with the fucking finger pulling? Well, the panties, the little G-string panties. You're not going to fucking... Uh, if I, look, at first of all, if you have to unzip something like fucking Gap jeans to get to a dick, you're fucking gay. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Well, sometimes you got to <laughs> unzip the unzipping gap jeans. the part that's gay, not the sucking dick Absolutely. When they walk into your room from the bathroom and they have a fucking skirt on and there's a cock hanging below. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's just, it's the, well, that's the young lady. I'll tell you right now. If I ever suck a dick, I demand that I have to pull the zipper down. Yeah. 
Yeah, because that's like unhooking the bra strap. It's like, that really jo- is. It's and away the- we go. Yeah. Yeah. Joe you needs know? button flies, faggot. Oh, my God. Yeah. Those you know, fucking buttons <laughs> open. That's Joe too wants, Come on. Joe wants to blow a cowboy. He wants to undo a belt buckle, yeah, too. Okay. <laughs> he wants to blow the brony towel guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's got to go. Yes, I have so to go. We'll, we'll take a I'm quick break. Something. Uh, and uh, we'll be, be back somewhere. still with Joe DeRosa. is going to be here, of course, and the lovely and talented Bobby Kelly. And uh, I guess Sam is just sitting here and working the board today. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Which is nice. Yay. Tattooed Sam. And uh, we'll be right back after these words. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. 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 Uh, a bunch of fucking pigs. Good God. I'm not. No, you're a very good boy, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's close to me now. I feel weird. <laughs> I was usually way over there. I love that we had therapy with Anthony today. Yeah. We, we got one step closer. It's a little therapy with me. I'm a weird guy, I know. We're all I fucking know. weird. But the thing is, I, I've, re- I've reached a point in my life where I really don't have to make excuses anymore for anything. I don't care. This is who the fuck I am. I've been this guy for quite a while. Right. And if you don't like it, lump it, I say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I, I rarely put up with, uh, with shit anymore. I put up with shit for so fucking long just to keep uh, from getting into arguments. And, like, keep things nice. Oh, keep things nice. Somebody, like, says something to me or, or texts me something. I'll be like, oh, well. Now I'm just like, fuck off. I've had yeah. it. Yeah, you spend so much of your life keeping the status quo. Yeah. Because you don't want everybody to be upset and whatever, but it's yeah. like... And because fights are fucking like... Arguments are stressful and fights are like, eh. You know, when you're in a, a battle with somebody and, and you, you get a text and you don't even want to look at it or you get a voicemail and you're like, you don't even want to listen to it. You're like, ah, God, I don't want to listen to this because I know it's just going to be something i got to delve into, jump into with both feet. Really? I don't... I hate that shit. So now I just end it right away. I'm like, no, shut up. Fuck you. Goodbye. Right. That's you just cut people it. out. Yeah. Yeah, now, not, not important people in my life, you right. know. Just I wouldn't do the, that. The but, rags. But, right. like, the shit that I used to just fucking carry around, like, luggage. Right. Now it's just like, fuck this, man. I, 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 I just don't have the patience anymore. I did, I did that with, like, clubs, like, doing, you know, because I'm on the road a lot. Yeah. I used to get so much anxiety, and yeah. I would snap because I was I cared so much about the shows being good and the club and the hotel and having it. Yeah, it's good. You, now, you should, though. I wrote down a list of, like, five things that were important, and I told my manager, just make sure these are done. That's it. Oh, Everything wow. else, I'll take the hit. And I don't even care anymore. I go to the shows. I know that there's someone someone got kicked out Thursday. You know, yeah. I know they they gave a free ticket to some twat Thursday, and she can't fuck it. I don't care. Do your fucking job. So that shit you don't care about. I don't care. Like even get to the gig anymore. It's like if I don't make it, I don't fucking. Ma- I used to stress about making it to the gig, like uh, the weather, and I gotta check this, and I gotta fuck. Uh, now it's like if I don't make it, I fucking don't make it. What am I gonna do? I still get the like stress coming here in the morning when I leave my house, and I'm five. I leave five minutes later than usual. I'm like, ah, ah, I gotta make up the time. But it's like, why? I could come fucking flopping in here at quarter after six and be fine. Right. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, that shit gets me like, I really just gotta kind of blow shit off and relax. It's, Chill out. It's, yeah, I, I'm learning that lesson recently with like, not like assessing the situation after it all works out and I've yeah. already freaked out for four days about it. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, remember this. Remember that and every time I'm like, you can't freak out, dude. It all worked out. There was no point to worry. Yeah. I mean the best advice you can ever get is is assess the worst case scenario. If you can deal with that, then you're fine. There's no reason to stress. Yeah. And when is a situation ever gonna end in you dying? Or being homeless, you know what I mean? It's well, like those things are very few and far between. You yeah, know? I, like, I used to give a fuck about like so. the middlers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I used to get like fucking. You know, oh I really? I, I, I go in, I go ten twenty, fucking that's it. I don't. I, I'm not gonna eat it. Yeah. I'm better than any fucking dummy in front of me. <laughs> Jim would have made a joke there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's, funny. I, that's funny that you made the joke without making the I joke. I made the joke by saying a joke. Jim would have made the joke. Jim would have made a joke. Genius. Uh, it's fucking genius, ball busting. <laughs> it really is, dude. Um, yeah, it's fucking. I don't give a fuck anymore. It's like I used to get so. Who's a what? Because you have so many shit dicks in front of you. Yep. On the road. Ugh. Yeah. Just dropping the mic when it's my show. Oh, they, do they do that still? 
Does someone think it's cool to fucking drop the mic yeah, after people, they're done? People, people do see, a little weird stuff. And it, I, I hate the when they put their fucking T-shirt sales <sighs> into the like a the joke. The last joke. Oh, I can't stand it. If I see one more guy hold up a piece of merch with a punchline written across it. Uh, and then I, my favorite, though, dude, my favorite, and you, you've, we, you've seen this a million times, I'm sure. I love when they hold it up and yeah. it's got the punchline. Uh, so I've got bumper stickers here that say, Daddy don't want none neither. Uh, and, <laughs> where you work in the South? Yeah. <laughs> and then it, <laughs> Who has bumper stickers? <laughs> and then, or whatever, you know, teacher. Yeah. And then it gets nothing. Yeah. And it's like, your big joke, nobody fucking remembers but it, about, you uh, no name asshole. Nobody cares. <laughs> how about this, though? Phrase, how about your line? act I don't instead mind of your it, merch. I don't mind it when the headliner is fucking going, hey, I got a CD or DV or t T-shirt, because he worked fucking 20 years to become the guy. Yeah. But when you're the MC or the middle guy, and you're fucking holding up a DVD that you made in the basement... Fuck you. It's just too easy these days to make and distribute merchandise. So yeah, anybody if, can do it. <laughs> but yeah. here's the deal. If you... Why is your DVD that you made in your basement, mm. that's 35 minutes of your best shit, and my my CD that I, it took me 20 years, I got a fucking record deal, I had to have somebody actually like me, and they made it, and I, I, I'm the guy, I'm the one fucking doing all the heavy lifting, right. and you get to sell your shit for the same price as me? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't, and, I, oh, sorry. And a DVD, they have DVDs. I don't have a fucking DVD. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck... I don't even know you. And if I don't know you, in my eyes, you're not a comedian. That's my rule. <laughs> You've been around long enough. Yeah. I, if I don't know you, then you're really not a comic. Yeah. You know what I do now to fuck with guys? When I plug my CD at the end, yeah. I go, I go, so we're both selling CDs. I mean, you could buy his that he pressed at home in Xerox copies for Comedy Central put mine out. Whatever. It's your choice. It's up to you. <laughs> but, yeah. Don't really you buy take his. <laughs> <laughs> Just to mention, too, we do have a Dangerous Joe t-shirt for sale on riotcast.com. Oh, yes. And you know what? It's, it's funny. Seller. As we talk about merch, Bob, <laughs> yeah. I will be selling my CD uh, tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday show. night at uh, Caroline's. Really? Uh, but you, there's here's the a dude. You got your coffee boom shirt. <laughs> no, that's uh, the Joe DeRosa Coffee shirt. mug. Dangerous Joe. Uh, there it is. Here's the deal. You, uh, you, did, fucking, oh, you I, fucking earned it, though. You're the headliner. Right. Why the fuck does well, the... I went one day, the MC had a CD. Here's the thing. Wow. It was I like a fucking... It was like a, a flea market. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck if the other guys want to sell shit. I don't give a fuck if you've got the feature guys... Whoever I do. Has I, a do. CD. I don't... None of that bothers me, honestly. What bothers me is if they have it and it's unwarranted. Like, if it's a feature that's funny and he's like, look, I made this fucking CD, I'm just trying to make a couple extra bucks and do what I got, then that's okay. But it's like, guys that are going up there with stickers and t-shirts and Bracelets. CDs, and they, and they stink. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. dude, you stink, though. Your act isn't good. Like, you're not Here's funny. the thing, though. You're missing the point of being a middle guy is that you're actually trying to make ends meet. You're trying to make headliner money or trying to make more money uh, the way you're supposed to do that is to become better as a comic right, right. and become the headliner. That's why these bringer shows in New York, they kind of fuck these comics. Back when we started, you had to be funny. You had to hang at the club, no other comics, get fucking Donnie Brasco in, and then get a spot after Chappelle, Jay Moore, uh, Norton, Patrice, at 2 in the morning with the lights on with five people and do good. Mm -hmm. And so the guy goes, that was good, come back, come back Monday. And then you did Monday, Tuesday, and then you did that for a while. And then you got to do a Thursday. And then you did that for a while. And then all of a sudden you got to do a one show on a Friday. And then you all of a sudden you're working weekends. And then you go to another club. It's the progression that you need to right. become a good comic. You don't get just to fucking get ten people in the club and you're doing ten minutes on a Saturday? And, and, and they're selling merch. And it, it, all of a sudden, everyone wants the shortcut to the fucking big time. Everyone wants yeah. to go viral. <laughs> well, it's it's yeah. When I came to New York, you, and I I'm not doing it as long as you, but it's like when I came to New York, I sat at the Boston every single night, went up at 1 a.m. on Tuesdays, like literally for three people that didn't speak English. Like not exaggerating, oh, horrible. I remember the first time I did a weekend, Wayne Rada, who was running the place at the time, goes, "I'm putting you after Patrice," and I was like. Pugh. Why are you Why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Like, I was fucking terrified. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's like, because you have jokes. Patrice tells more stories. 
I want you to go after him. And, like, put me in the position where it's like, okay, I have to survive right now. Dude, I had to go I up. have to survive. I was you know? at the Boston my first time doing a weekend spot. I sat there for three weeks, every night of the week, till 2 in the morning and never got up. Oof. Okay. What was made you keep coming back? I, ha I had no I had no job. Jesus. I moved to New York. I had no money. I had to go. Yeah. I had to do it. That's brutal. I had the flu. Okay. I had the flu. I just got over it. Like I was still shaking or whatever. But I go down. I'm sitting in the back. Masavia comes up to me and he goes, uh, "We." I, I, I kind of hooked up. I pulled the train with him the night before. Uh, like <laughs> the week before, I right. got two broads to fucking just fuck us both in a fucking shitty apartment. <laughs> But he comes out. He goes, "You're going on tonight," and I was like, "Oh shit, that's this is what fucking happened." Um, Jim Brewer comes in. I'm supposed to go on. He goes, "Jim Brewer's going next. I'm bumping you." I go, "All right, fuck it." Kills. Then Chappelle walks in while Brewer's on. Oh man, I'm bumping you for Chappelle. I go, uh, "Okay," and he kills. Then Jay Moore walks in. I'm bumping you. You gotta go up after Jay. Yeah. Jay fucking lit. The place on fire. It was like a competition yeah. with these assholes. <laughs> and then he goes, all right, you're going after him. Then Red Johnny and the Round Guy, who was one of the funniest duos back then, I mean, blew the fucking roof off the place. The place literally stood up and popped <laughs> when these assholes got off. Yeah. And he goes, all right, you're up next. You're closing out the show. Oh. He said five minutes. <laughs> and, you know, this is the comic ego. I went, okay. That's the ego we have. Like, okay, yeah, I'll do I it. I could do this. Yeah, I'll do it. And I did it, and it was fine. I didn't kill, but I did. F I did. I didn't bomb. Right. I did well enough. I went up with. Uh, let me tell you something. You are so fucking woo, fucking little wild squad. You fucking woo. Good night. Yeah, yeah. And I was. I fucking pulled it off. Yeah, dude. It's yeah. Such, when I auditioned at Gotham, I went in. And they go, they were, I was supposed to be on at like 8.15. I walk in, it was the old Gotham. And they go, Chappelle's here. It was right after oh. he left the show and all that shit. Chappelle's here. I go, okay. They go, he's going to do some time and then you're going to go on after him. So immediately you're like, fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's 90 minutes. Oh. I had to go on an audition at Gotham oh. during the check spot after Chappelle did 90 minutes. And I got off stage like, uh, who's that? And they passed me. They're like, you yeah. pulled it out, dude. I didn't kill. This is yeah. like you're saying. Yeah. It's like they were like, but you pulled, you fucking held your that's ground. That's got it. That's just got and whatever. It. It's like, but that was. I used to have to do black nights at Boston. Yeah. yeah. Like he'd be like, dude, come down Sunday. I'm like, that's the black show. Yep. And he. I don't know how you do that. Dude, how you do just you do not it. just turn around and walk out? You got to do and it. Go, I can't do this. <laughs> dude, the black show. The whole trick with black shows was act black. <laughs> What's really? up, motherfuckers? <laughs> ah, look at that white boy. I started in a black club. Don't do that. I started in a black club in Philly, and it was just like it, th that was it. There was two routes you could go. You could either go, I'm the white guy that's going to act like I'm from the city, or I'm going to just be brutally myself yeah. and whatever. And both are hard roads to travel. D doing the pandering thing is easier, obviously. But like, yeah. but like once you learn, like. If if they started to think you were kind of corny, once you had that attitude of like, go fuck yourselves. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking geek from this. What do you want from me? Then all of a sudden it was like, oh, okay, we respect okay. you. Wow. Be we, because you weren't being phony. There's you know? nothing like killing in front of a black crowd. When you well. kill... In, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> when you kill in front of a black crowd, it, it's, it's fucking insane. Insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking crazy, but... How great was that Sunday Boston? Was that not the fucking packed. greatest? Two shows packed, sold out every every week. Yeah. It was packed. But they used to put me... Oh, man. They used to put me on at the end. I remember they turned the lights on at the end because they forgot to bring Will. And he was like, All right, give it up for this white boy, uh, Robert Kelly. Like, they were angry that you got a spot sometimes. Like, you get shit. Like, ah, right, bring this motherfucker up. Wow. And you go up and you do well. I'm like, oh, all right, fuck you. Aha, uh -huh. you didn't get me. I don't know how you fucking. That's the, see, you guys don't really uh, exude a lot of confidence. <laughs> but but in order to do that, I would think you'd have to be very confident. We don't have self esteem, but confidence oh, and ego oh, okay. are a fucking. We see, have I was, tons. I was confusing that. We have. We're honest yeah. about our self esteem. We're oh. shitty self esteem, but 
ego and confidence when it comes to stand up. Oh, you can go fuck the yourself. Fuck uh, <laughs> I'll okay, go up. I'll go up, Eddie. I'll try it. Makes perfect the sense. The women I've tried to bang off of my <laughs> stand up confidence that I had that I never got. That guys were like, "Are you fucking crazy?" Yeah. But you're like, "No, I got this." <laughs> I'm on it. She likes me. <laughs> uh, but That's... then you know, then you go home and you fucking you curl up in a ball with a bucket of chicken, and you're just like, uh, I yeah, wonder I if myself. I'd still be having as much uh, fun in my life if I was uh, still just a tin knocker in a little apartment. Let me answer that question, Ed. No. No. <laughs> yeah. You mean you not you fucking not being having your compound and banging bras and TVs in every room, a theater room, all you don't your guns. Think I'd be able to get girls. No. Oh, come on. No, you'd have I a have fucking personality. You would have an unconditioned hair Long Island fucking shrivel. <laughs> yeah. Just a fucking big nose kind of good looking you, bitch. You who, get <laughs> I'll tell you the kind of girls you'd get. You'd get some fat <laughs> Bartender with a rose tattoo on her tit. I know. One of those bros. No, ah, you know what get... We all love Rosie around here. Hey, look he'd, at, he'd, he'd have, have one of those. He'd have one of those. No, he'd have a blonde. One of those blonde chicks with a raspy voice because she smokes too much, and she has just a flat ass with great tits. There you really go. good tits, but just flat. Oh, God, yeah, that's no. it right there. That's look, it. First of all, I'm I... Anthony's wife. Anthony, get me a fucking Miller. Oh, God, would that be a fucking nightmare? That's what you'd I, be. I wouldn't. The, the fatties are out. I wouldn't be with a fatty. Oh, yeah. but, oh yes, but, you would? No. Nah, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't nah, I, think you realize how little of a choice you have. Really? <laughs> I'd be that bad? We all would. I'm trying to think. Like, I, let, me you think would let me tell you something, track dude. Track record before. Your, your chick would just, just smell of cigarettes. Parliament 100s. Well, wow. Yeah. The ex-wife used to smoke Parliament. There you go, dude. And you, she would, oh, and she was a bartender, and she, and she yeah. would say, she would say, "Seen, we seen Skinner last <laughs> weekend. <laughs> we seen Skinner." <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah Mr. Uh, we seen we seen uh, we seen Skinner. Yeah. We seen uh, Molly Hatchet. Yeah, she yeah. Have, her roots would be showing, you know, because she doesn't dye. She's too lazy to dye her hair this anymore. This is exactly what my fucking ex-wife is. Yeah. You're describing yeah. that. Like th that's where I left off. Yeah, and then went into radio. So is that would that have been? That's just that it. would have been you, dude. You would have been fucking coming home at around fucking six o'clock. Oh my god. Yeah, dinner wouldn't be on the table. <laughs> she's fucking passed out somewhere. Uh, on a couch with some stupid show on and a fan because you can't afford electricity. <laughs> so you don't have AC, so you just got fans in the window. I got the fucking uh, oscillating fan. Yeah. Yeah. Nice pack of merits. Oh, some little dog. Uh, yeah. oh. You'd have a little dog. I don't like this scenario. Oh, yeah. I don't like this timeline. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have that... <laughs> oh. You'd have that. Bobby's like Doc Brown with the chalkboard. Yeah, with the timeline. This line. is the alternate 2012. I like the Anthony that founded <laughs> he'd still have a co. He'd still have a square TV. <laughs> I'd have the big yeah. fucking yeah. cathode ray tube TV. <laughs> I have with the green oh, red. cheesy wall unit. That's yeah. It's got to be five feet away from the wall because of the back is sticking out. Anthony oh. would make his garage like his little man cave. He'd have like a, a couple chairs and a recliner for him with some fucking posters of Farrah Fawcett on the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> nailed into the wall. Oh man! You'd have a shitty car that someday you're gonna get back together and drive around. Yeah. Oh. Like a, just the just the the uh, uh, like the uh, like a muscle car with no wheels, no wheels, no engine. <laughs> Is that that would be? Well, I think Danny found Danny found there my girl. Go. There you go. <laughs> <I see? laughs> Yeah, that's that's exactly who you'd yeah. be with. Look at that. Look at that nice shit guy. bar. Yeah, nice tits, no ass. Wearing a fuck, she's she always wears those fucking champion of the world belts just to hide her gut. <laughs> uh, it's like silver and turquoise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. From your trip to Arizona uh, when you went there on a fucking we went couples. to Tempe. Yeah, you went to yeah, you to went a, to Flagstaff. A fucking retreat. <laughs> yeah. Hairdo is fifteen fucking, years out of style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got that fucking eighties hairdo and the blue eye shadows like running crazy yeah. on her and the she has that blotchy fucking pale skin where it's like red dot white dot red dot white dot. <laughs> The red, the, the, red, the red lipstick is wicking up the cracks in her lips. Yeah. And every 
<laughs> every every day of the week, she pr- she oh. pronounced it with D E E. Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh. we're going to see, and then on Monday. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you remember let's, Wednesday, we seen this other band. Wednesday, let's Wednesday, not, we Wednesday. seen. Uh, let's not yeah. forget that we're actually talking about how shitty his wife would look. Let's not forget how shitty you'd look. Uh, let's not forget uh, uh, Fatso right with no hair. That's what, <laughs> That's what Anthony would look like right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, Anthony God. would be oh, a man. fucking he, oh, just Anthony, a disaster, <laughs> a fucking disaster. That's funny. You calling someone fat so with no hair? That's Kubian. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's I alternate should... timeline oh, Kubian God. in the pool. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> but Anthony wouldn't have a gun because he wouldn't have the money, so he'd have a taser. I would be able to afford my <laughs> guns. Have, Anthony would have mace, like a collection of mace that he got those Chinese stores wow. at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, Anthony would have Chinese stars. Yeah, he's going to like the head shops buying the knives and ninja stars and shit. <laughs> he'd have swords. Yeah, he'd have a sword. He'd, That's he'd have perfect. A, he'd have a fucking uh, a Conan original sword. You'd be, you'd be terrible. You'd be the fucking neighbor in office space. That, oh, you'd be that yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta wake my ass up yeah. 6 a.m. every day this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing uh, the she rock <laughs> down there. You gotta see this pair of titties on Channel 9. <laughs> I got me drywall in the new McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the drywall down at the McDonald's. I'd love to see his pool, too, if he had to clean it. Uh, you know, you'd have an above-ground pool, by the way. Uh, let me, let me, let me, well, let absolutely. Me, I will describe what my life was like when I first came back to New York. I had the bartender. She wasn't that old yet, but it was gearing up to be. And I was living in a small house that I was renting in uh, uh, off of Huntington uh, Village. And uh, the back had had this fucking broken down wooden deck that I had one of those pools on. <laughs> well, like a one turtle of those, pool, like, two foot tall blow up pools. <laughs> That's it. That's where you were headed. <laughs> you'd, have the, you'd have the fucking inflatable hot tub too. Yeah, like but one here's of those. The, here's the thing: you would still uh, be one of the cool your the friend the scumbag friends uh, you'd have. Yeah, all the you'd scumbag st- friends I had. You'd would still be, be a, the guy, yeah. dude. Anthony's got a pool. It's the shit. Let's go in. That's what you do. I get in with a. Oh do you man. Think a Miller Lite. I think he'd slide off. I think the only thing that kept him out of a militia was this radio show. <laughs> You think he I just sl- lost that? I think he would have slid way off. Uh-huh. You want to go shoot targets? <laughs> no, Ant. <laughs> yeah. Move to fucking Michigan. <laughs> Come on, say those beer cans, honey. I'm going to shoot would, at him. He is oh, one, one oh, argument geez. away from being Ted Nugent and just saying, fuck it. Uh, would that I, make, I just would, think would, that, that, that time, I don't like that because I know that's exactly where. I was on the, I was on the dart league at the local bar. We used to go oh. like every, every Wednesday. We'd go to other bars around the the town and shoot darts against them, and then you know we'd have a home game every month or so, Ooh. and and it was just drinking beers and shooting darts. I want to mush my banana in your face beer. right now. <laughs> Do you know what, how lucky you are that you got out of you were in a dart league? I was in a dart from league. The UK. I, am, I was fucking. Not, I was a sheet metal worker on a dart league where I would go to the ATM. Because I, I needed more money for the bar, and at night I'd go across the street to the bank and the ATM and take out twenty bucks and hope I I didn't like take all the Dude, money out. Your fucking wow, Tony Montana story makes me sick. Mom, <laughs> look, I'm a big. Your son's a big success. You just Who fucking. Who got the bullseye now, huh? <laughs> Anthony came to this country with a dream, and he yeah. fucking made it happen. I made it happen. Thank no God. No bullshit. No school. <laughs> you know, oh, where it's I just fucking just no, high school <laughs> dropout. Just fucking uh, you would shot have right no up. No GED even. You, I didn't even get a GED. You'd have a bad God back right it. now. Oh, I know from lifting all that yeah. sheet metal. Yeah. Oh God, it all cut up. Yeah, you'd know when it's gonna rain because your stupid knees. Now I got city hands, <laughs> soft hands for counting money all my life, Mister hey, Hooper. Yeah, hey, you get soft hands and soft oh, little women now. Soft. Think about great. your life now, oh. and then think about what it was supposed to be. Okay, hold just on. a little pool in the yeah, back. The little pool in the back with, with the wife yelling at me that I didn't take the garbage out. Yeah. 
Smoking. Smoking. Think it, don't look at this picture. Uh, cotton no. candy don't hair. Look. I gotta find a better one. Man, you know when you try to run your fingers through your wife's hair to give her a kiss and it gets yeah, stuck? Right oh, God, right yeah. There. Just frizz. It just frizz from dying it Hold too on. much. Oh, God. Don't, I, Danny's don't look it. Don't look it. Okay, don't Danny's finding Think great about picture. your life now. Okay. Think about your life now. Really get a good picture of it. Okay. And then once it's settled in, I want you to turn and look at this picture. All right, all right, and know right. that's what it could have Hold been. Hold on. Here's what, I'm, here's what I'm imagining right now. I'm sitting in the jacuzzi. It's nice, sunny out. I got myself a nice fucking Guinness in my hand. And, uh, oh, wait, oh, look. One of the girls are topless and they're jumping in the pool. All right, they're swimming over. Now they're climbing up the, the waterfall from the jacuzzi and jumping in there. Uh -huh. They're just hanging out, drinking, and, and, uh, uh, hanging out in the jacuzzi. All right. Okay. She falls, cuts her head on a rock. She's bleeding in the pool. You All leave right. her. <laughs> I like that. And this is what it could have been. Oh, shit. <laughs> let, me see, let me see. Let me see. Oh, my God. She's wearing a You Can't Afford Me shirt. That's she it. looks like That's an it. alien. That's it. That's this what it could have been. This woman looks like an alien. Her here's... face is fucked. That's what it could have been. Here's the problem with that. You would have been with that. What happens to people, you're with it every day, so you get used to that face. So that face would have been like, hey, what's, I don't know. That's my wife. Are By you the way, kidding? this chick looks like the way Anthony would probably. That looks like Anthony. <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> that's, that's what you would look like. She if, looks if, like Anthony. If you oh were still banging God, tin. If I was fucking... Oh. Knock it. oh man! That's somebody we know. Oh no! Oh, that's him. Oh, without that's... the beard. That's... Oh, oh! Let's do everybody's timeline. I want to do Bobby's. I want to. Let's oh, go man. around the room. Do everybody. Our, my, our, me and your timelines are the same exact. <laughs> if we made it or we didn't make it, we're exactly we would have been. We're banging tin and doing comedy. Oh. We're at the same spot. Oh Jesus! You know it's so funny, dude. I was watching. I bought the season one of Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh man! Great. And I was watching Spongerino it. Barbarino trying to suck Freddie Boom Boom Washington. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Caltea. I love that. The black cock. Oh, uh, oh, 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 he's trying to fuck me. Yeah, that's the sound of Orchard getting fucked gotta, by yeah. Barbarino. By Barbarino. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I do love DeRosa, though. DeRosa's the only fucking ass that would go and buy. You bought Welcome Back, Cotter. That's how you Ten love bucks him. at Best Buy. I was All like, right. fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll All give right. Welcome Back, Cotter. Well, but I was nostalgia. watching it, and I started thinking about, like, because it's based on, like, Gabe Cotter's actual guys that he yeah. grew up with. I started thinking about, like, the storyline of, like, the real, because those characters are much more real to life than you think they are. Like, they do a pretty good representation of, like, what that kind of kid was like back then and stuff. Yeah. I just started thinking about the timelines of those characters, where they would be, and every oh, one of them man. was dead. <laughs> every one of them. I just end up Everyone dead. was like, it's a shame, man. Freddie, man, he was talented. He could play ball. He was a good-looking dude. He was uh, funny, but it, he got shot, man. Shot, yeah, fucking, yeah. You know, it was all, like, every, think about all those characters. Like, Horshack is the dumbass that hung out with the bad kids because he just needed to be led. Yeah. So he's the guy that's going to OD one day because somebody gives him a bad Pure fucking shot or something. Pure pressure on fucking, uh, yeah, doing, doing drugs to be uh, cool. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. dude. Uh, yeah. Well, Washington gets shot. Uh, uh, Hotsy Totsy gets AIDS. <laughs> oh. Hotsy Totsy <laughs> gets yeah. AIDS. Hotsy -totsy. Seriously. Seriously. She tries to fuck Cotter in one of the episodes. Yeah, And it's yeah. like a goof. Yeah, you, it's a joke. It's just ah, funny. Oh, you the know student's what? trying to fuck the teacher. <laughs> oh, it's the 70s. You Who know what would be the best, too, though? Is if Ant the other timeline with Anthony, he'd just be a fan of ours. That we'd fucking oh. sell a CT. He'd go to one of our shows. I'd hey, show man. Up. And his wife Bobby. would be like, all right, let's go. I'd be like, hey, man, I just want to just give me a sec. Let me talk let's to him. Let's go. No, she'd be like, why the <laughs> fuck are you even fucking talking to that prick? <laughs> uh, where's the bar? <laughs> oh, God. That bad, right? Sure. That fucking guy. Can I get a Can I get a pic, Joe and Bob? That's what you'd say. Joe, Bob, uh, <laughs> can I get a picture? Mind, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. I'd be get showing all my friends. Yeah. Like, yeah, I went to fucking club, man. Just <laughs> fucking Bobby. I actually, I think I had him laughing at one point. Yeah. I, I did one of my characters. If I was doing, like, dice, and Joe DeRosa was cracking up at it. <laughs> 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 I do love, I Why love are we fantasizing about this when we could just pop up a YouTube video of Ann on Stern back in like 1991? Was, I, what are oh, you talking was, about? Yeah, I was a fanboy. Uh, let me see. I, I would love to see it again. I was quite the fanboy.
Um, really? Well, listening you know. to all this, I'm like, this happened. This already happened. <laughs> I really was. Yeah, but there's a, there's a, ro- there's a fork in the road yeah. that God, the universe, whoever, oh. put in front of you, and you took it. And now you are in shape, oh, million-dollar man, guns, <sighs> banging young broads. I try. Being you. That's the whole thing. Now you're just being you. This is you. the real me. This is, no, this is the new... This is not the real you. Oh, the real me uh, is hope, the other guy? I hope three ghosts come to you tonight and fucking take you back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, this is not the oh, real you. Okay. You're not the real you yet. What you're doing now, you're going to have to come through the other side. Oh, shit. And you'll be... The, the guy you end up being is not this guy now. Yeah. You're going to be another guy before you die. Yeah. And you're no. going to wake up one morning and go... And go is it too late to get to, to get an AIDS test? <laughs> I didn't miss it. Uh, <laughs> Young man, <laughs> run and get me a home AIDS test. You're back in half a minute, I'll give you a shilling. <laughs> you know, what the fuck would you be doing if you weren't a comedian, I'm though, doing Bobby? It. Isn't that, that, that Bobby, you think? I'll tell you what Bobby would be doing. <laughs> Bobby's the... The kid from Welcome Back, Connor, that they'd be sitting there going, hey, he was funny, and he's a good-looking kid, but uh, 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 he's... He, I'm, I'd be, <laughs> he got in some what? dumb shit, and he got I'll shot. I'll tell you what, 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 tell what you. skills do you have I'll as tell you, far as I would work. be some type of counselor, because it's easy. What? I'd be a counselor, but not with you a degree. just jump into that line of yeah. work? Dude, I was a counselor at 18 at a fucking juvie place. Yeah, how much did you make? Enough to fucking get to keep a roof over your head? Yeah. You'd, you'd be working in the, in the trades. You'd be a roofer I wouldn't or some be a tra- shit. I would not be a trade. You know why? Yeah. Too much of a pussy. Yeah. Too mu- I did it. My uncle was a painter at his own paint company. I worked with him. I was too much of a fucking puss whack yeah. to be a trade. Yeah, trade guys, you, you, your body is just fucking... It, uh, I it mean, is a lot of you, work. Yeah. I, I would be some type of cheesy counselor. I'd probably have five jobs, though. I'd deliver flowers on a Friday. Look uh, what I did. Yeah, you'd and have I, a lot of jobs. Yes, yeah. he'd be the guy with a bunch of jobs. I disagree yeah. with this completely. Really? I think he'd be like River Phoenix in the beginning of Stand By Me. It's a Robert Kelly stabbed in the neck because he because you tried to do something honorable. You wouldn't have that thing going. Don't do anything honorable, stupid. You got a nice career here. You'd just be like, you'd be working with the kids. You'd be like, I gotta fucking. I gotta get in there. I gotta care, and you get in the middle of some shit. Try to help somebody. I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, you'd be I dead. Be, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. a good story. Yeah, it's a, real, it's so a what do you great think story. You'd be doing? I, like I like it. What do you think you'd be doing? Joe? I have no idea. Well, I, I know I what know. he'd you be doing. Do it. Of course, no he, I'll tell you what he'd be doing. He'd be back in his little town, the mayor of the fucking town. He'd probably be working at a coffee shop. Right? Oh, man. The manager of the coffee shop. That's almost what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> no, I, I don't know. What? Do you have any, any skills? What did you do? I worked. You know what? I got to be honest, dude. I don't know where I'd be because I, I did. I went to college for, for video production, like editing and all that stuff. And my last semester, we had to intern at a production house. It was mandatory. And I interned at this place. And my... It was a really small place, and I had a really down-to-earth boss, but he would laugh at me all the time. And I was like, why are you always laughing at me? He's like, dude, your fucking temper. If you can't get, like, cables to connect, you (laughs) suck. He's like, you're just fucking cocksucker, motherfucker. And I, and I, I, like, dude, I had no concept of it. So I don't think I would have been able to work very long. And I hated the job, too. They were very nice people, but I hated what I was doing. He he would have been at, like, a Sam Ash Oh, or something man. like that. Probably. Yes, that just that yes. cunt. If you don't not, like, if you walk in, hey, I'm looking for uh, what? What do you want? I mean, what's, they're all cunts they're, there, by they're, the way. Oh, they're the worst. They're all fucking they're assholes. They're the fucking worst. They're worse. They're worse than gun store people. They're worse than yeah, bike yeah. people. Bike store people are fucking cunts too. Yeah. If you don't know what the new French fucking ten speed is, you're. <laughs> do you have a, a water bottle? What kind? We have. The, shut the fuck it's up. It's usually anything. Because even hardware stores, they're all fucking pricky. It's like, yeah, I need a fucking nozzle. Sam Ash. Uh, we're kind. What do you think? Sam Ash. Sam music, yeah. music store people. Because they want to be fucking musicians. Too they want to be rock stars, and they're working at fucking Sam Ash. I'll tell you. I'll, t- I, I'll tell you. I'll, I know assholes. what it is. The yeah. worst. I know. I know what my. I know what would have happened. I know what would have happened to me. All right. Joe DeRosa. Because the timeline. comedy. <laughs> comedy was the only thing that let me be angry openly. Mm. And get it out of my system, like where people were like, "That's funny," you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whereas everywhere else they were like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" 
I would have I would have been headed for a nice fucking American Beauty breakdown. <laughs> oh, you think? I would have stuck it out for a while in some poor shitty office job, and I would have I would have snapped. I would have actually snapped, and it would have either been damn gunned down, oh, shit. <laughs> something, oh, wow. or or you know got shot by the neighbor because the neighbor thought I was fucking his kid because <laughs> I just wanted to hang out. I with think him. I I think it would be you in a fucking you trying to lift weights in a garage and then just putting a shotgun in your fucking mouth. <laughs> wow, that's brutal. Jesus I just picked I, now the Sam Ash thing. I like. I just picture you at Sam Ash yeah. selling some fucking kid some guitar. Well, guess what? It's a Sure 58. It's the most used microphone. Yeah. I mean, this is industry standard. Oh. SM means I don't. I look. I need a cable. Matter. What kind of cable? Oh, he. We, we, we have a wall of cables. What do you need? Look. I like the Sam Ash thing, too, but unfortunately, we don't like where we're all headed in this alternate timeline. I know. Because it's not realistic. You would be a fucking garbage can. <laughs> He'd be dead. Yeah. And I'd be fucking, I don't know, Just getting a shot. Cunt and had a or gunned somebody. down by the police, by the SWAT team. <laughs> That's some I'll, shit office job. I'll, 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 our fucking alternate universe is fucking They're really stink. bad. Do you know what, dude? We get to go home today and go to bed. Yes. All day. If we want. All exactly. day. I'm just going to fucking I appreciate the fans. It makes me makes me love the... You know what? I'll accept one of right. you douchebags for fucking critiquing me. Because if it wasn't for these cunts, we'd actually ha we'd be in our alternate universe. That is great. You know I'm going to go home and nap, and I'm going to wake up, sure. and I'm going to go in the jacuzzi with... Two topless Canadian girls. Yeah, what? where? What, I'm doing. what do you? What do you order them? Are they there Dan now? Anthony. What? Are they there now? Yeah. God. Who's at the house? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I could pull it up. Oh God. You know what? His fucking universe is they're way still, better than ours. Oh, I still, am sick they're of it. Still sleeping. I am where? sick I, of it. I, I don't know. They're not on on cam yet. I hope you go they, home and all your shit's gone. And let's remember it this. Could happen. I hope they're two fucking criminal lesbians from Canada. <laughs> And that's what they do. They just find dumb Americans to fucking come over and they That'd be hilarious. off all your guns. Uh, Everything is fucking gone. And there's just like red spray paint on all your TVs. God, would wow, I love that if they bad. just ripped you off like zombie land? Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, shit, right? Two they girls just took your shit and fucking like, what ripped. happened? <laughs> they fucking took my shit. Uh, just remember uh, this. And you While you're topless... <laughs> In the pool. Yeah, yeah. While you're taking a nap. Yeah. While I'm going around downtown looking for apartments. Yeah. Because my afternoon is free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess what? what? You two and E Rock will still be sitting here. Oh shit! Because uh, your lives are the same in this or any parallel yeah. universe. I was gonna, I was gonna reference <laughs> you that. Fucking middle um, roaders. Uh, all, my, all my shit's still there. <laughs> Oh what man, a that hurt! Fucking dick! <laughs> what a dick! He you... called them fucking. There's no alternate universe for you, normal fucking middle you roaders. You are a prick. You, you have no I hopes have... and dreams. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. <laughs> you guys, you guys are looking at alternate universes. We're just looking to October. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. just said it because I knew you would go, what look, a dick, what a dick. Look at Sam. Sam, he, I'm look joking. At, I'll tell you what Sam is doing in his head right now. Just thinking about all his plans that he knows. Look at you, you fucking ego. <laughs> who? Ah, look out at of, you. Out what? of Sam, Erog, and Danny, who is most likely to go on a killing spree at e 45? Danny. Who's oh, Danny. Danny. Probably Danny, yeah. Look, Danny. No, I think yeah, it's Erog. E no, Erog doesn't have the balls for it. Danny has the facial hair. <laughs> Danny has the facial hair for a mug shop a after he killed a bunch of people. <laughs> but Danny gets a lot of his rage out. Like, e -Rock is totally not self-aware. And so at some point, he'll snap and not realize it's coming and just start firing. He won't know what he's doing. I don't know. Yeah, but he won't know how to use the gun. He'll try, <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. He'll try to put the magazine <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> shoot himself in the face by mistake before yeah, he does to anything. eat the bullets. I'd love to see Danny gun down a fucking Kmart as oh, people man. are screaming, Help! The guy from System of a Down is <laughs> firing everybody in here. Yeah, the, lead, the lead singer from Godsmack has gone crazy. <laughs> you know, the, the, Does he get killed or do they take him alive? No, they take him alive. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. They have to, they, they have to do though. the sketch yeah. artist. He'd be like, what kind of hat? What, uh, I don't know. It was a gaze to the side. Just a, it looked like half a head. He didn't have a full head in the hat. Like right, it was, we, we get it. You're goofing on his hat. <laughs> yeah. oh, I got, I, did you guys uh, see Bobby's brand? new bag that he's been uh, wearing oh because what that should be that should be debut bandolier i don't have i have to, oh, i still man. have bandolier. bandolier is a shit and you know what the funny See, thing I is out of that one, so many Good people one. got fucking um 
The bandolier. Like no, I got they some, didn't. I get email after email. You're lying. It's the best for traveling. No one wants that thing. <laughs> Joe, you want a bandolier? No. Joe. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe. No, no, I, I, Joe, look at your bag you have now. Which is the... Look uh, at Joe's bag but now. This, everything fits right in it. It's nice and compact. That's a little gay, though. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Dude, one time See I'm walking I did a that, little, Danny? It's a lot. I'm walking with Burr. I'm walking with Burr after a show one night in Boston. I'm carrying this. Some drunk guy goes, hey, look at your little purse, you fucking faggot. Holy right? shit. And then walks off, and I start fucking fuming, right? Yeah. And Burr goes, what's the matter with you? Why are you so angry? And I go, you fucking hear that? And he goes, no, what, what happened? What happened? With that fucking face. <laughs> and I go, and I go, uh, I go Fucking guy just goes, look at your little purse, you fucking faggot. And he goes, hey, well, you're carrying a fucking purse. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> oh, what an guess, asshole. Guess who traded up that purse, man? <laughs> yeah, this was yours. Oh, it you was? You fucking uh, asshole. I, I got forgot. rid of that. I he had a really cool Comedy Central bag. or uh, it was no, it was, it was a, from Montreal. Montreal bag. And uh, I was like, wow, that's nice. I traded up for it. I got rid of that faggy purse. <laughs> you traded cool... back? What are you, in fucking fifth grade, you two? Hey, you know what? We don't have fucking bags of money, oh, Scrooge. Sorry. How's that sound? Sorry. We don't have fucking we can't just... duck. Yeah. Sorry, timeline, guys. Yeah, we can't just go on were... the fucking internet and buy Canadian women and fucking cool <laughs> bags. Go Canadian fuck yourself. Sick of it. Three minutes ago, these assholes were sitting around a pool fucking getting fanned with leaves and eating grapes. <laughs> fuck and now they're like, fuck you, rich guy. Fuck I'm you. sick of Anthony. These ducktails life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking Poor. sick of it. Swimming. I bet he's got a room where he's swimming in gold coins. Yes. Just, <laughs> Joe's, Joe's going to look in crack neighborhoods for apartments. Okay. <laughs> Please, please, uh, uh, whatever you need. Uh, just, let me just live out there with you. Uh, I got enough rooms. <laughs> you should Might let, as well. Uh, why you let him live out there with you? I'll get a car. I'll oh. give you 1500 bucks a month. Just let me fucking live out there. 1500 bucks. <laughs> Just you to didn't... share the life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Bob, before you choke. I'm just looking at little fag Sam trying to put the fucking photo in front of you, and you keep ignoring him. It makes oh, me happy. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, that's anticlimactic uh... now. Oh, oh, that was, uh, what bag is that? It's oh, his new it. bag. Oh, that's the new bag. Oh, yeah. All right, at least. Yeah, I don't... Oh, that's like. It's a Everything... backpack. <laughs> It's an ass bag. It's too big. Yeah, That's what I'm It's on your ass. It's, nice, <coughs> it's too big. Why can't you just get shit, normal shit? I can't. It's like, why can't you not buy guns and drink alcohol? <laughs> All right. And fuck girls. Point, point girls taken. not your age. Not my age. I don't like 50-year-old girls. <laughs> You're 50? What? Listen, <laughs> let's not get into semantics here. <laughs> I don't know. I like... That's how... Listen... You yeah. fucking kill your pain with little girls, booze. Little, no, I don't, and, little girls. They're all fucking legal. Let's make that fucking clear. I'm not, uh, I don't need goddamn FBI creeping up my ass because uh, you right. and some other fucking bitch is saying that I, Anthony, I, I'm with underage girls. Anthony, all, I never those said girls, underage. They're all of age. All, right, all those girls are legal, and they're all yeah. old enough to get into Caroline's Comedy Club, where exactly. I'll be performing tonight, tomorrow, oh, and very, Sunday night. Very good. Uh, use uh, promo code O-N-A to get this kind of tickets. Troops get in yeah. for free. It's you Fleet Week. You should have told me. Oh. I would have promoted that on my podcast. It's on Riotcast.com. You know what, dude? <laughs> I would have fucking promoted that shit if you... That's amazing. You know what? Maybe what? I'll come on your podcast on Riotcast.com. You know what, dude? To promote <laughs> my uh, new web series, What Are We Waiting For? On YouTube.com you slash The Warner Sound. Thursday. Come on Thursday on You Know What, Dude? On Riotcast. The, you know what? Uh, YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound. Oh, uh, now dude, they're fucking I'm gonna be against each other? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? No, no, no. We're... we're I just said it again because he talked during the, the plug oh, part. No, I fucking I mush yeah. them. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, wait, what were you guys? Fuck, here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing is this. That, okay. I kill my pain with that shit. Buying yeah. the new bag, the new hard drive, the new phone okay. case. You kill your pain with fucking booze and parties. And chicks yeah. with fucking really fair hair. <laughs> just... <laughs> Just light, like their... it just came in, like yes. it's like it's brand it new. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> and Did you just get hair down there. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. Yeah, you give him little, you give him little combs, little mustache combs. Look, no. That's the thing, though. The way Anthony, the way we drink, is yeah. the way Bobby buys tech shit. He's okay. got a closet in his house filled with tech shit. I always give him shit. I go, dude, I go, you throw these. I feel sorry for your gadgets. You throw them aside like they're dirty whores. Oh, man. He has something yeah. one week, and he goes, dude, it's the best thing ever. 
are invented. Look, you flip it like this, you flap it out, you hit this button. <laughs> the next week, same fucking device, different company. Dude, this is the best. Dude. Well, what about the other one? That one stinks. It's blue. This one's pink, dude. <laughs> I just bought a fucking crazy treadmill. What? It's so fucking oh, cool. It folds up on itself, but it's a it's like a a, a non folding treadmill. So when it go, when it goes down automatically, without you having to go bend down. Right. So you pick it up, you can wheel it whenever you want. It goes flat up against the wall, then you bring it down, and it goes down by itself. But when it locks in, it's like a solid treadmill, not a folding one. Right. The shit. Are you the using shit. It? I, I use it. I, it's the best for me because I use it at night. Like last night, I, I did podcasts. I did all the shit all day. I did shows last night. We hung out last night at the cellar because mm -hmm. everybody was there. I didn't get home until 12. I, I jumped on the fucking thing. That's the hardest for an part hour. is actually, you know, using the shit. If it's, if it's, it, dude, it's right there. I unfold it, put my thing on, listen to a fucking podcast. I did uh, 45 minutes last night. Yeah. Yeah, I've been using it every night when That's I'm home. Good. I bought Yowzer. Those. Fucking treadmill, the best ever. If you're gonna the get a treadmill, now to, uh, that'll give be, it two weeks. Yeah, that'll Yowzer. be somewhere else. Uh, this one, but this one's got a thing for your coffee. <laughs> this one has a thing for you if you drink All coffee right. when you work out. Put your oh, coffee in there. It has yeah. a fan. Yowza fitness, you fucking yowza kid. Uh, I bought the. Uh, now there it is, right there. The fucking best. I bought the Janice Dickinson Fitness Revolution Body no, Revolution no, DVD set, no you didn't. and I used it for <laughs> six days and then threw it in a box. <laughs> <laughs> I bought stupid weights that I'm lugging around every time I travel, and I'm like, I don't even use it. It's, uh, See, another part of the, uh, the the recent timeline, the modern timeline, yeah. is the trainer. See, because I wouldn't go to a fucking gym, I wouldn't step on the treadmill, I wouldn't do anything, unless someone came over and threatened to beat me up in, unless I started fucking working out. Yeah. That's the, the only way uh, I'd yeah. do it. Uh, well, if I had an extra room in my house. Yeah, yeah. With, I, with, you know, I had to get the fucking folding treadmill because I live in a fucking midtown Manhattan. You choose to live in New York City, my friend. I can't Very live. Expensive. I can't live where you live. That four ninety five is the fucking oh, you're right. worst. I get I'm lucky because the times I drive in and out of here, it's not as bad. The fact but that they don't have a better way to get out to where you crazy. live sucks. Take the choo choo. Fuck the choo choo. Take the choo choo in every day. Is that what you tell them when they're coming in? Take the choo choo. We're coming <laughs> from Canada. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. When this Can you show. Give them snack packs on their way back. <laughs> When you Here's a little apple juice. Oh my God! And a sippy. When you finally retire from radio, <laughs> yeah. Nice the one. fuck, what fuck was, that? was that? Round one. What was that? Roland. Roland did something. What the fuck was that? I know. What the fuck was that? How do you not know what that was? <laughs> what the fuck? It, was How could it sounded like something falling on the base of a mic stand. That was weird, man. Like a heavy. All right. Yeah, but we don't have any of those mic stands. Oh wow, really? You don't know what that was? It sounded no. like an anvil fell. It sounded like metal snapping. Like honestly, it sounded like metal. Snapping. Maybe it was my yeah. chair. <laughs> Dude, when you when you finally <laughs> stop doing radio, <laughs> yeah, it's a great fat joke on me. That your house, it's gonna be like the house at the beginning and end of Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> it's like, yeah, remember the parties they used to have out ah, here? Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cobwebs. Uh, it's gonna. What's that? The, what's that castle on Game of Thrones that the dragons burned down? <laughs> <laughs> this place used to be the biggest castle of them all. Impenetrable. Yeah. Uh, the women used to come here, and bathe naked, <laughs> with the king. Yeah. Uh, the people that get your house after you, the ghosts, just the fucking dirty the, ghosts. The that house are gonna will be, be upset that it's not having as much fun as it did. Uh... <coughs> it's the funnest place ever to hang out ever. It's, it's literally fun. every. Mm -hmm. It's literally every oh, uh, fucking dream I ever had as a child. Yeah, it's when like, I thought like when I get a, when I grow up, I'm gonna have this. That's There's exactly what I thought. I'm video like, games, yep. karaoke, a radio station, a movie theater, a hot tub, yeah, a pool, a bar, arsenal, a bar. Yeah, an arsenal. Yeah. He has a TV studio. Yeah. yeah. There's a that, fucking studio. That's it. That's exactly what I wanted. It is the funnest Helicopters. place to hang out. Yeah, if you radio control, I haven't taken those out in a long time.
Those would be, that was when I was in that phase where I didn't have the show to do. It was when we were fired for a while. Gadgets. And I was just buying up, like, what do I want to do? You know what? Radio control helicopters sound fun. You just went to Gizmodo every day and bought and everything? Just buy everything. <laughs> Oh, some stuff flying those Invisibility things around. Invisibility cloak, maybe. Yeah, well, what do they got? That work? I don't know. I don't care. I'll buy it. Yeah, it's just a sheet with mirrors attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing better. I mean, aside from the times at night when I cry myself to sleep. Yes. Than being single. <laughs> <laughs> and like a grown man and single, but even like in your situation, you're married, but you're still, you, you're still, you, you, Dawn is very accommodating where you can have a single type of lifestyle. I came home last night. I was just, I was going to be home early. I came home last night late and I didn't, what, what were we doing? I was just done. Everybody was there. It was like the fucking old days. Uh -huh. And she was like, oh, cool. I oh, okay. get no shit whatsoever. That's great. Ever. Yeah. No There's shit whatsoever. There's something to be said for getting no shit, man. At because... all, ever. Ever. It's fucking, it's the great, when you could spend your money on what you want. I was sitting at my mom's house the other day, I was just sitting there, and I started thinking, remember GameCube? Yeah. It was like Nintendo's thing before the Wii. Oh, right, yeah. 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 GameCube, it, I, was, I had that GameCube. system when it was new, and it had these killer Star Wars games, and I was sitting at my mom's house, and I was just thinking about it, and I was like, those games are fuck. I want, I want that, and I was just like, I'm going to go buy a GameCube right now because I feel like it and buy every Star Wars game they had. And I was like, I started thinking about when I was 12, and I was like, I never thought I would have had the power to do right. this one day where I can just buy myself toys and gadgets. But that's dangerous. And that's why I'm fat because oh, I can literally no. go, well, I want to go to every pizza place on Ninth Ave uh, and taste test. I guess you <laughs> And I can do it. That's different, though. I, think. Well, I didn't no, say dude, I wanted I to buy every video game system. Because and yeah, that's true. <laughs> I he bought, didn't. I Here's the deal, pizza. though. Now, when I'm in the hotel, when I used to do comedy at the beginning, I couldn't afford room service. I had to go and get oodles and noodles or something, or eat at the club. Aww. Now, when I go into the hotel, I'll get whatever the fuck I want on the menu. I, I'm not looking. I don't look at the prices anymore. Next to, next to, when you go to, a, I remember going to a restaurant and looking at the prices first before I went in. Really? I don't even look. I know what's the most fifty bucks for uh -huh. a steak, maybe sixty. Who gives a fuck. See, look at that. He is a big shot. But no, but that's why yeah. I'm a fat fuck too. <laughs> is that it's like you know, it's like I can. I was white trash my whole life. Couldn't mm -hmm. afford shit ever, ever. And now that I have uh, money, I mean, I don't have enough money to buy everybody in this room a steak like you oh well but i do have the money to get my wife and myself or myself anything i want that's why you're fat sorry what's that, the matter joe i ripped one oh and it was bad. bad it was almost it was almost an accident it's, it'll hit danny now, first if you shit like your a pants, tsunami make me so happy if you just <laughs> shit i'd show you, you would be happy as you vomited that would make i'd me vomit happy. on your happy. shit Dude, no, it's bad. Yeah, of course you got to be careful with everything but i mean i just like when i see my thing Growing up, I was such a mu I still am. I was such a music fan. I spent every dime of my allowance or whatever bullshit job I had on CDs. That's all I ever bought when I was a kid. And I remember having to wait and not be able to buy the music I wanted to buy. And like mm. it was always like a special thing every two months when I could go buy one or two CDs or whatever. Jesus, and, you know, I was, it was a kid. I had no fucking money. And that lasted through college, where everything was like, oh, I guess I'll go sell these CDs so I can buy this new one that I want or whatever. And now, like, it's such a simple pleasure, but to be able to walk into a store and go, I'm going to buy whatever fucking DVDs right. and CDs and video yeah. games I want, and go have fun. Like, I just love being able to and not have somebody to answer to. I don't got to worry yeah. about a kid. I don't have a, somebody wife there going, you Isn't know. Isn't that great? I, uh, it really is. I'm, I'm married, dude. I, I can't. I, I really, I don't get. I think I asked you, people who got divorced, and you knew from the get-go that you shouldn't have done it. Oh, yes. Everybody who's gotten divorced, I've had, like, I shouldn't have got married to this broad. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking happy. My chick's the shit. I, I, I don't have any, I don't, re it's actually the best thing I've done yeah. is get married for me. You know what I mean? There's some guys that it's, that is, I did that shit from 10 to, you know, 30-something. But do you, was, look, do you look at it like it was good for me? 
like because I'd be on this self-destructive road if I didn't get married? Because that doesn't sound very romantic. That sounds no. therapeutic. <clears throat> No, it's it's ha that has something to do with it, but I'm happy. Like I love hanging out you with are. my broad. I, yeah, because with my broad. Because here's the thing: is that you, you, you I've been with so many chicks that. Oh, do tell. But it, <laughs> but you you, you how, how many girls can you hang out with for more than a few hours before you like get the fuck away from me? Please stop handful. talking. It's a Just, handful. Yeah, I mean, when you had your chick, it was you know. It, it's like, it's at the beginning, it's like fucking, oh, I could finally be with this chick and just hang with her all day and not worry. She doesn't bug me. I don't mm. want her to fucking stab her on the neck with a pencil every time she breathes. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> Shut up. up. Yeah, me and my, I mean, it, they did a, I told you, they did a thing on love. There is no love. It's compatibility. People who are married for 50 years, they're just compatible people. They can be around each other all the time. Me and my chick are really compatible. Mm. And... So that I mean I love her too. I've been friends with her for over fifteen years. So you com you put all that shit together, and there's a relationship, and I'm happy in it. I I'm fucking happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I mean, sure, I'm gonna go to your house Saturday night and tr and fucking avoid blowjobs <laughs> at Blowjob Alley. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have face. I'm gonna have to Facetime on the whole time with my wife. Help oh, me, Blowjob Alley. <laughs> It's like a jackass stunt. You gotta try to get through the room without getting your cock sucked. Yeah, getting your cock sucked by a fucking a chick with fucking nice fucking titties. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could meet like the one chick that I could. Uh, I wish I was gay, dude. I wow. really wish I, I was go. gay. I wish oh, you were wow. too. Bro. I do. I love. Look, I hang out with my friends. If I could hang out with a chick the way I hang out with you guys. Yeah, but if you were gay, it would be the same thing, only you'd feel gay? that way about guys. Absolutely. You'd be like, oh, I can't hang out with this guy for more than 10 minutes. See, I don't think that's... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, it's the truth. That I was a good gay guy voice. <laughs> oh, thanks. No, but I, I don't think. I, here's here's why I don't agree with that. It's 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 the difference between the sexes. First of all, you are that, gay. <laughs> Let's just get that. Let's throw that on the table. You're as close to being a fucking homo as homos are. You think yeah. so? Yeah, dude. What kind of shirt is that? It's a Henley. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. It's a Henley. He knows. He taught me with a heathered T-shirt. I didn't know what a heathered T-shirts are. Do you? No. Yeah, that's but that's the... just because I like clothes. <laughs> oh, man. If that doesn't ding, say ding, ding, right ding, there, ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. That's definitely a... Fag, 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 fag. That's definitely like, a, yeah. I like clothes. I like a good cry. I'm not fucking embarrassed to admit it. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you live work your in life the arts. <laughs> yeah, you live I your life through your TV shows. Yeah. Will and Grace. Like a Will and Grace when she came in and oh. she... Oh, God, boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sex of the City, one of my favorite shows of all time. All right. Oh, God. You know, yeah, so look, I got my little things that I do. Uh, so you're <laughs> saying it's it's the, but, more the guys and the girls, the way the girls it's, are. It's, what, well, dude, it's what Bobby just said. It's compatibility. Mm. It's like, dude, I can hang out. Look, after you blow a fucking load... You want to hang out with a broad? No. You want to go meet your boys at the bar and fucking laugh it up and have drinks and smoke a couple butts and, and, and talk yeah, about butts. the banging you just did. <laughs> butts. Yeah. Smoke yeah. a couple cocks, I mean cigarettes, and, yeah. you, and talk about the banging you just did. So it's like, to me, theoretically, if I wanted to bang guys, I'd bang a guy and then be like, ah, you're a good dude, let's See, go hang you're now. you're thinking like a heterosexual male. In that world, yeah, it no, doesn't. I no. don't think it would work that way. I think it would be uh, you, yeah. you, you. The dynamics different. All of a sudden, it's the same thing as if it was a chick. Yeah, you bang a guy. That mm. guy is going to go. Where are you going? Right. What are you doing? Start giving you shit. And you're going to go. Let's go to the bar. I don't. Want, I'm tired. I want to work tomorrow. Come on, cuddle. Just come Why here. Why don't you just cuddle with me? Come here. Let me see your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think there's a higher chance? There would be a higher chance of me meeting. My exact whatever, if it was a dude, then it was so a, chick. A, a man's guy. No. You're like, hey, that was a good blowjob. Thanks, Joe. I uh, no, I'd be, let's I'd go be, watch the game. I'd be the one going, where are you going? First yeah, of all, yeah, Joe's the, I'd be the one doing Joe's that, first bitch. of all. Yeah, he's Joe's the bottom. The bottom. Yeah, he, doesn't uh, know, he doesn't know what sports are. Uh, that'd be a sweet <laughs> bottom. You, first of all, you'd go I already to, have a bottom with chicks and just lay there. <laughs> well, I'm not fucking doing all the ramming. Uh, Get on shit. top. Uh. Joe's, a bo Joe's a bottom. He's You're a little a sloppy bottom. bottom. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hilarious. fucking sloppy bottom. If you, if you were gay... You're talking about straight eights. You're talking about being a straight eight. Like, I get to be a guy, 
hang out with guys, and then I'm just going to blow my load with another guy. Yeah. So it's just about blowing the load. Yeah. Yeah, but you, the gay guys don't do they, They're women, too. It's the same fucking relationship. You're going to go through the same bullshit that you go through with a bra you're going to go through with a woman. They're going to play the same fucking head games. You're going to feel the same insecurities. I don't know. Oh, I'm telling you, don't go I gay. So. Full gay, not, Joe. I can't go gay. I don't want to suck dick. Except not for Bailey. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bailey, Jay. But oh, no, can I, we get Bailey to your house? Can't you, uh, can we just... Bailey would be cordially invited over my house. Really? Yeah, sure. Awesome. I'm, she's, no, I'm no homophobe. She's the best. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. the greatest. Yeah. See, yeah. And her yeah. husband's a shit, too. Take that fucking... Uh, uh, Matt, Matt Tehune. They might, they might come out to... Uh, one of my shows. Here we go. Tonight, Thursday, or Sunday Here at Caroline's. Dude, funny you say that, because they're on Riotcast.com, the Bailey J Show. Oh, now. Right. With Dr. Steve, Weird Medicine right. just got picked yes, up. Yes, Weird Medicine did. Yeah, Fucking dude, he's, he's tw he was 24 on the chart yesterday. He goes right to the top, cocksucker. Dr. Steve's great. Unbelievable. Right. But, so, yeah. Now, what, what this Bailey J thing's <laughs> got me with, with you. you. You definitely would do stuff. Have we not discussed this enough? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Would you let? I want to know that we really. We I really feel have. like we really delved into this. Would you? At length, to the point where I right. called her and I was like, "Should I not talk about this We're anymore?" Just not like, talk about me <laughs> sucking your dick. I can't watch your porn anymore, though. I can't. Yeah, I can't watch I, it anymore. I, I, honestly, at this at this point, it's like Bobby said. Like it's be there. It's just it's too familiar yeah, now. It's like, like watching I your like sister I lost brother. The, yeah, sister I lost brother. The, <laughs> I what, lost the what, you, what, 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 what about like coming in your mouth? What if, what if Ellie J wants to come in your mouth? You're there. You, you're you get doing to, it. You get to spit it out though. You don't have to swallow. It. You can spit it back out like AIDS come. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what they do in the pornos now. You ever notice when they they used to swallow it? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then they transition when AIDS came out to having it in the mouth and spitting it back out. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't swallow it, you can't get the fucking hibs. Oh, really? Well, you can't if you, got, you a got bleeding gut in your mouth. Well, don't floss before you suck a dude's dick. <laughs> you know, here's the dangerous part. It's up here. Yeah. That's the, the bloodstream. It's hard to get AIDS. It very, it is very it's very hard. hard. Let's all hope. <laughs> yeah, right. We, uh, uh, would, yeah. you, would you take it? Uh, I... S in, I in, in the bit that I do about Hang on one second. Yeah. Anthony, would you let a guy come in your mouth? No. Okay, see how quick that was? Yeah. <laughs> Stuttering fucking homo. <laughs> what well, the, I, the, here's the thing. I do <laughs> I do a bit about this, about like the stair step up to it. It's like it's not <laughs> as easy as would you just swallow the cum. It's like there are so many. It's like becoming president. There are many levels of things oh, okay. you need to get through first. So by the time I have a dick in my mouth, I might be fucking all in. I might want to go all the way, but oh, I might not I even you. get to the point of so, being able to have a dick in my mouth. So the passion at that point might have overtaken you. I think. Yeah. It, I think it's the roses. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I get the roses in it. bed with Bailey J. Yeah. And things are happening. You're so caught up in that moment. You're doing. And if Bailey J want to fuck you in the ass, Bailey J's fucking you in the ass. I guarantee. It's just happening. Anything. I guarantee Joe would. I think first of all, Joe is a romantic at heart. I uh -huh. believe that. Yeah. He's watched too many rom coms with Meg Ryan and Jesus. Tom Hanks. Meg Ryan to... with a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd fucking do it. Meg <laughs> Hanks. <Yeah>. Meg <laughs> Hanks. So he would if he was with Bailey J in bed, you you would actually be you'd you'd kiss and fool around and oh. foreplay a little bit. Yeah, no, I, look, listen, I if if she walked in here right now, I'd make out with her in a fucking second. Mm. I'd play with her boobs. A boob. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is a, you know your funny story about this. Yeah. I was with Jay Moore at a casino, and he was fucking grilling me about this. We're all in the bathroom all night. He was grilling me about this, of course. And we're in the bathroom. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> and he goes, Can I tell you? And he goes. <laughs> He goes, come on, dude. You telling me you don't know if you would suck her dick or not. You're telling me you don't know. And I'm going, Jay, I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know, you know. And he goes, what would you do with her? What would you do? And he's fucking hammering me so really loud. I go, I go, look, I'd make out with her. I'd play with her tits. And right as this black dude's walking out of the stalls, I go, I'd let her bang me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Jay ran out of the bathroom across the casino floor. Yeah, he had to get as far away. Yeah. He's laughing. And I was chasing him. I go, what are you doing? And he's going, he's going, you just said bang me in the ass in front of the guy in the bathroom. What does he think we're fucking doing in there, man? <laughs> the, uh, but I, uh, I got to be honest with you. I'd be more open to an ass banging. Wow. <laughs> I than go. you would to sucking. 
I'm sorry. I'd be more open to an ass banging than I, a blowjob. No, job. not then me. you went to, to sucking uh, Bailey's dick. Dude, you'd be take it in the ass before you'd put it in your mouth? From a chick, I would. Really? But I mean, you, I don't know, theoretically. And and he's it, you, you like after it's done, you, there's cum coming out of your ass. It's just, you're well, I'm like, gonna oh. wear a condom, Anthony. Let's not get no, carried you're away not. here. He's not gonna be yeah, he's gonna be it. safe. Jeez, don't you don't, are not. Don't make him into a whore. You are a whore. I mean, if you I don't are. wear a condom, that's gay. <laughs> what? Who is that? I don't know. That's Joe. And he pulls some fucking picture up of some guy with a beard. Pull up this Bailey J. Can I see Bailey J? Five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Joe's a sissy. He's a sissy boy. A sissy boy, yeah. You, Joe's a sissy boy with a five o'clock shadow. Is, They're the guys that don't go all out with the makeup and the the, the actual uh, grooming. Now, not that's, that. That's too old of a that's picture. Old, she doesn't have the full yeah, on. That's tits when she was a Japanese oh, boy. Geez, a Japanese that's, boy. That's when she was a Japanese boy. Look the, at that the, fucking. Hold on. Is that, that a good one? A, get a good one. No. no that, why well, not? Yeah, she's hang on. pretty there. But that's I mean, a good that's, one. But hang on. Look, she's, she's pretty got, there. She's got pre coming out to me. That's a good one. Dick. Hang on. I gotta find. Yeah. Get a good one. I thought I did. Bobby's getting all excited over there. Here's a good one. She's spreading her butthole open. Oh, there, there you go, go. Joe. This is what you want. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's okay. There, Keep, there you happens. go. What's that one? That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, what about that? There you go. Now, now, Joe. Okay, we're looking. Honest, the, the first thought that popped in my head was I wanted to kiss it. <laughs> 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 that was honestly God the first thing that popped into my head. We need, <laughs> listen to me. To kiss it. We yeah. need to get. I want and I, and not only kiss it, I swear to God I'm not lying. Crawl over on my hands and knees and kiss it. That was the first thing Anthony. that popped into my head. So, ah, ah, Mammy, I'm me. a fanook. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a tranny. We need to hire a tranny to come to one of your parties. Yeah. A hot tranny. A hot tranny. Not Bailey J because he's friends. A hot tranny, tranny and just leave her in one of the rooms for Joe. Like, if he wants so to. So Joe can crawl over yeah. on his hands and knees and kiss it. He'll actually have to crawl over. He'll have to find anybody no, as hot as her. See, got, I know, Joe. It's got to be Bailey. He'll have to crawl over me and Norton. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, wait a minute. What's happening? <laughs> Pulling each other's feet the back out of the room. Jimmy's head. <laughs> Why does this girl have three cocks? <laughs> <laughs> and two of them are mediocre. <laughs> so you're, you're like thinking of crawling over there, giving a little kiss. Jesus Christ, Joe. Mm -hmm. It's a dick. It's a guy's dick. Yeah, but it's a pretty one. It's a guy's dick. But it's a good one. What are you talking it's about? It's an effeminate dick. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a great one. Look at I that. I really need to send Bailey a check for all the airtime she's getting. Yes, that is she true. Needs, no, she needs to send you money. <laughs> Wow. You know Dude, you're, you're not going to find anybody that looks like that. Uh, if, outside uh, of vanity, and even vanity is... I, I just put my fucking egg burrito in my mouth like a cock. <laughs> oh. Well, Bailey's asshole is pretty tight, though, for, you know. That's a pretty asshole. Um, right? I would, <laughs> I would love to make out with her and see, see what kind of things it might stir up. Yeah? Yeah. You would so fucking be down on that. Joe you can't wait to fucking switch teams. I know. Joe's just waiting. I don't want to switch. I don't That's like That's why dudes. you moved out of the neighborhood. You want to go down to the fucking he, East he Village. He cannot wait to become a free agent. His contract is up, and he cannot That's wait why to he's, be a free That's agent. why he's trying to get a new neighborhood. He wants to be free of Bob Kelly two yeah. blocks away. He yeah. doesn't want to bump into me with your fucking new boyfriend. Oh, hi, Bob. This is my uh, oh, wow. apartment broker. <laughs> oh, look at that one. That's nice right there, right? She's pretty. Dude, it, it, it's I'm not I can't explain it. I'm not attracted to dudes. Nothing about me makes I don't want to bang a guy. But you take that in your ass. What are you doing, Roland? He's sleeping. He was sleeping. <laughs> uh, his hands on his cock. What are you doing? Oh He's man, Roland. Uh, He's lost a lot of weight. It's <laughs> Jesus. He went to the strip club and fucking came twice in his pants. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Who comes in a strip club? Exactly. I used to do that all the time. We were in, we were in Cleveland. <laughs> We were in Cleveland. He go, I just see him going to the back with some fucking dancer. And then he comes back. He goes back with another dancer later on. And then we find out he came twice in his pants. Really? Dude, <clears throat> we were in a strip Dude. club once in Philly. We went during the day. We went at like 12 o'clock. No better feeling. Yeah. And and day, day strip club. We got fucking ripped up. The strippers were all sitting with us. The place is empty. They all love us. They're not even hitting us for dances. We're just having a great time, me and my buddy. He's like, I'm going to go back and get a lap dance. I'm like, okay. So he goes back with this chick. It's like 3 o'clock now. He comes storming out of the fucking lap dance room. He goes, dude, 
we have to go right now. We have to go now. And I go, <laughs> oh, no. why? What the fuck did you do? What happened? And I look down, and he has got a <laughs> fucking wet cum stain that fucking big on his shorts. The oh, girl shit. yelled at him for coming in his pants. The bouncer yelled at him. And they were like, get the fuck out of there. We had to. How does the girl yell? It's like, fuck you, man. She, you... She, she goes, you're supposed to tell us before that happens so we can get ready for it. Because they were ready naked. Ready, schmetty. Yeah. <laughs> ready, schmetty. I'm coming. Favorite thing to she do. She wasn't committed ready, to it. Ready, schmetty. I'd rather fucking. She wasn't committed. Because if you said that, then it, it fucking... mixes you all Strip up. Strip clubs are fucking oh, bogus to Joe's me. Joe's got a tummy ache. Strip clubs yeah. are so bogus. Yeah. Why would you go to a strip club when you can actually go and have somebody jerk you I'm off? Done or suck with your fucking dick? strip clubs. Yeah, why are you gonna do yeah, that? Yeah, I don't. I don't. So I don't go anymore. They're just they, they're they're fun to go to with friends if they like it's a, if they're like Rex. You go to the local <clears throat> like Long Island strip clubs. Yeah. In the daytime, you sit down, you're just drinking beers and fucking going. Look at this pig. Yeah, if you're fucking around, you fine. Go, yeah, you go to the. I like the daytime too because they have the veterans on. Like she's around oh, yeah, 42. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. comes out with a cave woman uniform. Disaster. Like she has an outfit with a like a plastic club. Yeah. She does like a little <laughs> a little thing. Nothing <laughs> and nothing beats leaving a strip club when it's still bright afternoon out. You make that thing like, like you just came out yeah. of a cave. You're like ah, you can't. Your eyes are adjusting. I don't yeah. mind. I don't mind Whoa. if it shits and giggles, but I hate going to strip clubs to get off. No, no, that fucking blows. That's ridiculous. So I'd save my hundred bucks. Go to Backpage. And get somebody to come over and do a nice sliding session. Yeah. Sorry, I was I agree. looking at Bailey. <laughs> I agree. Oh, she's hot. We got Bailey movie going here. I wrote a joke. I don't want you to think I stole it just now. I wrote a joke about what you just said. What, sliding? No, about the old, the the, the fucking A-team of strippers oh, when you go at like 11 a.m. Oh, yeah, yeah. How they're the, it's like strippers are like the opposite of athletes. Like you don't send your fucking A-team in first. <laughs> That's, it, that's in the book. No, you Is just that in go, the book? Yeah, I wrote it in the book. Oh, you go no, you did steal ones. it. <laughs> you fucking read my shit in the book. Oh, I guess oh, that's where I got it from. Yeah, there you Sorry. go, Joe. All right, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> Joe, by oh, the way, uh, we, we have a book coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get you a copy. I know. We're going to get you a copy. A, I got a little story in there. We got a great story yeah, in there. That's Dude, a fun one. Yeah. Fucking great story. That's one, uh, that's, one of, that's one of them that's over the house right now, is the one from the closet. No. Yeah. She wow. is she is a fine piece of work. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, she yeah. looks like. I want to see her. Oh. I imagine what in my head what she looks like hiding in a closet. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I got. So yeah, it's, uh, talk about the uh, book you got coming out. The book is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the book is coming out as we watch Bailey J jerk off with better yeah, dick jerking off. Yeah. Um, it's called <laughs> Cheat. Yeah, it's coming out October, beginning of October. Yeah, I think in the first week or something. And all you cocksuckers who've been trying to see the movie, it's gonna. If you buy the book, you'll be able to see the movie. Yes, we're working it out so it's gonna be uh, available. It's uh, me, oh, Bill, man. Joe. Yeah, it's got a giant heart on now. And there's great. Uh, there's great. There's people. You know, we wrote the book, but then a lot of people contributed, like Anthony, some content. Yeah, about yes. uh, Opie. About, uh, yeah, Opie, Anthony, uh, uh, Voss. Yeah, Jim couldn't because he's writing Voss. a book, another book himself, so. Yeah, a lot of com no, common, Colin. You know, a lot of great people contributed some stuff, some really funny stuff to the book. And it's it's funny, man. And we actually, we, we had to send it out to get. Um, Quotes? Yeah, these these pre these blurbs. You know, the thing on the back of the book that says, you know, riveting, the fuck, you know, hilarious, you know, those things. <laughs> riveting, hilarious. Says so-and-so. Says and some of the people we sent it to were like, I can't, uh, can't, I can't give you a can't quote. Wow, this. why? Yeah. Because it's too fun. We, we did not hold, we wrote this book funny, but it's, we didn't hold back. It's, it's yeah, really it's... how to cheat and get away with it. Like, we Nothing tried to that. really, yeah, but when, you know, you're on a fucking network show, you really can't get behind this book. Uh, okay. Yeah, because we, we we really we call you know we call women for what they are on the. <laughs> we say we we're like oh. we, just imagine if Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin wrote this book back in the day. <laughs> That's the tone it has. Yeah, I'm not watching also... Bailey shove a big dildo in <clears throat> in her his ass. Mm, look at that ass. Oh man. We also uh... tight little butt. If you saw that. Just take the seam of her balls and make that a vagina lip. <laughs> and right there, look at that. If you saw that and it was just a big oh, puffy man. pussy, would you be good with that? 
Fucking great with it. Anthony, not you, you homo. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, you mean if the ball bag was a pussy? Yeah, look at oh, it. Oh, yeah. Stop. One second, look. Yeah, that, that's a pretty big fucking step, though. Uh, not for me. She's spinning it like a doorknob in there. Uh, if she shoots that out like a fucking a rocket. Great. See, like though, a... look at the taint. It's That's, all, that's a fucking, <laughs> that's a ball bag. <laughs> that's not a ball bag. Is there moaning? That's God a pocketbook of fun. She moaned like a girl? Sweet goddamn! I was not going to pick up. You that's not me. Away. That's not us. That's Norton. What is it? I guess. Something what are you doing? Oh, fucking oh, Sam. Um, Sam only cares about his show. I know. It's a computer. I don't know you only care about your show, Whoa, dude. Billy you would never fuck up. Fucking... Real nice, Sam. Yeah, real real nice. good job, oh, yeah, Sam. He is calisthenics. That's fucked up. The, uh, Hang on. Right, is that that's... it? Oh, there we go. Uh. Oh, oh, that's good. That's not it. She, that's the one. She sounds like a girl. Uh, mm. Whoa. <laughs> the, uh, the best gayest thing I've ever done. Uh, oh, flappa, 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 flappa. Flappa, flappa. That's what I call that. She's flappa, flapping her cock. Yeah, when they whap it back and forth. Like a, it's like a little silky terrier dog tail. <laughs> flappa, flappa, flappa. She, she's right. happy. What's the matter? Joe? I love her. You're getting fucking... You're I love her. Love. Take back what I said that I was over, and I'm not <laughs> over it. Joe's in love, man. I'm not but over But her husband's it. the nicest guy ever. He's the so. greatest, oh, man. He's About awesome. the husband. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Anthony. Who gives a shit? Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Oh, who gives a shit? Get in there and suck that dick, Joe. Fuck him. Oh. <laughs> suck his dick to get to that dick. Ah, now, there's the question. Christ. What if you could yeah. get to Bailey J, but through a husband? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? Like, did I have to, like, hook up with her husband first? He, he'd have to be there. Watching or participating? Well, a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> not participating. Big, oh, uh, not, shit. Look at that big load. But if he was like, I right gotta be there. Right into Joe's mouth. That big load would have just gone right in your mouth. <laughs> Pull that back. Joe. Show Joe what that load yeah, would have yeah, been I, like. I, I be, backed it up. So oh, here we Joe go. Can experience the Joe, here it is. Here it is right here, Joe. Watch. This is what you'd be doing, right? Uh, yeah, you'd be licking the ball, sucking the taint. She'd be jerking off, flapping it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's licking the screen. I'd love oh, it. Here we go. Here it is, Joe. Go. Watch. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, uh, get, it, get it, Joe. Uh, hang on. Get it, Joe. Uh, feed to me. Ready? <laughs> here comes Joe. Ready, here Joe? Comes. Here it comes. Bailey's going to fucking... Oh, uh, yeah. Bailey's ready to shoot. Oh, come on already. This is uncomfortable. Hang on. Keep going. Here it comes. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. She's oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bailey's ready. I think it came out. No, no. no. There it comes, right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Come on. Come on, Bailey. What are you waiting for? Oh, here it goes. Oh, God. Oh, man, there it is. Whoa. Oh, look how adorable she comes. Oh, And then she takes I her... Ta Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> then she t she takes his Henley shirt and then Henley. wipes wipes her dick with his Henley shirt. His Henley shirt! <laughs> I didn't want to take because I don't want... Still... I don't want that on the internet. No, I was just standing wow. there doing that. I took a photo. I, <laughs> even no, you were videotaping. That's why I was doing that. Even I don't want to put that out there oh, on the internet, man. Joe. Because someone you're gonna get a gig someday for some channel, and that's gonna pop up. Yeah, that's I true. I don't. I don't need that. I don't want wow. your kids and your wife someday because you're gonna get married someday. You're gonna be over this homo face. That's quite the cummy <laughs> dick right there. My wife will go. You never suck my dick like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, now she's licking up the cum from the... <laughs> What's the matter, Bobby? Look, look. Look at Bailey lick it up. Uh, uh, why would you... What kind of camera is... <laughs> That's not cute when she licks the cum off the camera lens? You can't, you're not supposed to eat your own cum. That's like eating your what? own kids. <laughs> Anthony admitted that. to going down on a chick after he jizzed at her pussy before. <sighs> but I wasn't burying my tongue inside. I would like flick and lick the clit. But you were but trying to you were trying to suck inside. your cum back out. So gross. You know what? No, I wasn't. Yeah, Bobby. yeah, yeah. That's what I said. You weren't. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I was on you your said, side. You know what? You were trying to. No. It's, that's oh. what I heard. <laughs> I don't like the way. <laughs> I, said, I said you weren't. <laughs> Why did I hear that? <laughs> I don't like the way pussy tastes after dick. That's been it, in right it. there. Stop. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I don't like the way pussy ah, tastes. Shit. And I don't like the way dick tastes after it's been a pussy. <laughs> yeah, <apparently>. no. <laughs> you know, Bailey likes the, the, the ass-to-mouth thing, too. 
God. Well, she pretty much has to. No, you don't have to. What else is there with there? No, you don't. <laughs> you, there's an Christ. asshole in a mouth. Well, no, like fuck in the ass and then put it in the mouth. Yeah. She likes that. Oh, man. Yeah. What's going on there? I don't know. Look at that. Look at that fucking piece. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is in love with Bailey's dick. I tell you why, because she's got a nice cock. What? I mean, trannies, they have fucked up dicks, a lot of it them. It looks like they it'd be nice. They got fucking uncircumcised, they're gray, brown, it and looks black. like it'd be nice. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a little nice, you know, and the ball sack is nice and clean. There's no dirty, you know, guy dark skin between the ball and the leg because uh, she plays soccer most of her childhood in Brazil. <laughs> she would give you the best hand job ever. She you would think? give you the best fucking hand job ever. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways, um, yeah. well, uh, I got my wife oh, pregnant last night, I think. What? You know, I just think I did. I think wow, I, that's a well, I, I, bold It was such right a there. good session. Oh, really? It was such a good session. Like, I was... Really, I haven't watched porn in two weeks. I really held everything back. Oh. And I, it was like one of those days, and I just fucking, I just had a great session. Did you go go deep? Well, I can't. Did you let loose I deep? Can't, I can't go deep. Well, I go, as deep as you can go. I go fucking halfway. <laughs> I don't hit was anything. Was she ovulating? <laughs> She's ovulating today, tomorrow. You know, you can't really, that, I mean, what? you got to go. Be, uh, so many fucking things that people tell you yeah. to do when you want to get a fucking broad pregnant. You got to, uh, the day before, today she's supposed to be ovulating, and then tomorrow. So you, Some people say do it one day, the night, skip a day. I'm fucking all this week. You got to, right? Yeah, you got to fuck all this week. So you really want a kid, huh? I do, man. I want a fucking kid. <laughs> yep, I know. I Bobby want a fucking Kelly kid. Bobby a dad. I'll be a great dad. I'll be a great think, dad. Yeah. yeah, I'll be a great dad. I'll be a great dude. dad. Yeah? Yeah. I'll Why do you say that? Because I don't know. I'm a fucking kid, dude. I'm, yeah? Yeah, I'm a 40-year fucking... Does that make a good dad? Yeah, because I've been through so much shit. Now, look, I I don't know how I'd be as a uh, if, if I have a son, um, because I, I, I don't know. I get scared with that, because I have that, you know, my stepdad was such a fucking lunatic, mm. but if I have a daughter, yeah, I'd be... I, I, want, I want a daughter. I'd be you fucking too, huh? great, yeah. Yeah, plus you can throw all the bad shit over to the mother, you know? Well, that's true, fucking yeah. Twat. You can't really throw the, the boy over to the mom at any point. Yeah, you got to take, you know, fuck. You know, that's going to be a hard one when he starts doing shit that I did. Or, you know what you Louie know. was saying yesterday about, uh, he goes, you know, because he's a single dating guy. Mm -hmm. He was talking about ages of girls that you'd go out with. And he goes, some of the younger girls that he's been out with, he starts getting this, like, kind of father thing where he looks at, like, their skin is all nice and smooth and... And he starts equating it almost to his daughter's look, and <laughs> right. it fucks him up, like it fucks it up. Where he wants to tell her, hey, don't fuck me. Look, get your life in order and do this. <laughs> That's fucked up, though. Yeah, That'll... there's nothing worse than when you can relate somebody you're going to have sex with to somebody you're related that's to. That's crazy. And you're like, oh, man. You don't yeah. want that. <clears throat> yeah, like I have a niece that's 20, 22. Yeah. Ooh, like I couldn't imagine. <laughs> what? I couldn't imagine like having a sex with a 22 year old, because what? when you some girls in my family are 21, 22, yeah. and then you and I they're little kids to me, because really? they're my yeah my niece and the you know the people and my cousins. You know what so, 21, 22 year olds are doing these days? What's Bobby? that? I know, they're dude. Fucking everything. Dude, I, was, I was I know <laughs> I did without I was, even fucking. I used to have to bargain for a blowjob when I was growing up like a fucking like it was gold doubloons. <laughs> And, and now it's like a prerequisite. <laughs> what is gold doubloons? That's, gold doubloons. It's yeah, what the, the pirates, the pirates used, to, used are, to have. Are gold doubloons? Yeah, you can get they're a, like currency. You can get a necklace. Yeah. Get it off All the discoverychannel.com. Right. It's like the currency, you know. All right. It's like it's, what they put in their treasure right. chest. Yeah. Remember, right. remember when uh, Johnny Depp, the the fucking yeah. thing, the gold the coins, the bucket, the first right. one. Not for the doubloons. Doubloons. <laughs> Look, uh, I, that, but 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 now the blowjobs just it's like what they do. Then it was like, try to fucking get a blowjob. Try. Good fucking luck. Dice, are they sucking dick now? Hey, these, these hooies, <laughs> these days, they love the cock in their fucking mouths. But it's good, because then they can't fucking talk. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> oh, I want to tell you about my day. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you put this in your face, you hooa. <laughs> good, you good. Dice, what about having babies? You think I should have a baby? Uh, no, no, you put it in the race. 
You don't have babies that way. <laughs> Just pump a load into a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about fucking young girls? <laughs> uh, fuck anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. Uh, nice. Gotta love dice. Uh, well, you know what? It's fucking, uh, you know, it's reached that time. You guys, uh, what, what do you got going? Uh, if I could, okay, so. You could do anything. New web series, first yes. episode starring Anthony Cumia and oh, myself. Yay. It's available now. The show is called What Are We Waiting For? It is on YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound. Please go check that out. And. I will be at Caroline's in New York. Three shows, one tonight, one tomorrow night, and one Saturday night. Fleet Week offer, free admission to... <laughs> yeah. free, all right, take it easy. <laughs> now, wasn't, it wasn't my thing. Sailors, come down. <laughs> no, we, already, we already went through this. <laughs> free admission uh, to the Wednesday and Thursday shows for all military... <laughs> 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 ah, uh, Sailor great, Joe. Man. Sailor Joe. <laughs> he's gonna be. He's gonna get his Cracker Jack uniform on. Yes. Do sets. Oh, oh my God. God. Free admission to anyone dressed like a sailor, a cop, a construction <laughs> worker, and an Indian. A cowboy. <laughs> a cowboy. Uh, uh, now, Fleet Week special. Uh, oh. Military gets in. You gotta have a military ID. <laughs> I love this. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, you get in. Uh, discount of ten dollar tickets. O and A is the thing. O A N D A is the code. If you buy tickets online at Carolines.com, use that code, get ten dollar tickets, or reserve them at two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Yeah. Carolines in New York. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna good. I'm um I'm all over the fucking place, but oh. I am going up to the, the comedy club in Webster, New York, near Rochester. Oh. Um the twenty first, twenty second, twenty third of uh <laughs> July. Of, of I July. It, I think it's July. Oh, good. Yeah, July. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be up there. Go to, go to robertkellylive.com. I'm going to Boston. I'm going back to the Wilbur. Just went on sale uh, in August. And I'm going to Foxwoods. I'm going to do that. But I'm excited to go back up at Rochester. I haven't been a, it's like near Buffalo. I actually, yeah. last time I got arrested, last drank, drink, oh, last time I drank was in uh, Rochester. Spencer Port, New York. Got arrested. Uh, white labeled scotch was my last fucking drink. Uh, stole a gumball machine. <laughs> and uh, holy shit! You know what, dude? Podcast on Riotcast, the fucking fastest growing network on the internet, Ooh. other than the Nerdist, uh, Ace, uh, the Live guess. of the Compound, all the <laughs> yeah, all, all the, the main ones. ones but. but no, Riotcast.com, <laughs> the fucking shit. All right, uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, coming in. It's a very Always fun show. A pleasure. Yeah, this went by so quick. Glad man. you're. Yeah. I'm not glad you're better, dude. So am I. And uh, you know what? Glad you didn't I was, die. I was sick. And if you're sick of eating the same old boring options for lunch, yuck. Here's uh, an idea. Break out of the same old and try something new. Quiznos. Quiznos. Head to Quiznos today and try over 25 uh, new craveable menu items, including the new chicken Milano, the savory new sandwich made with all-natural cheese, piled cheese, all-natural chicken, piled high on artisan bread. The cheese comes in. Don't worry. Toasted to perfection with melted mozzarella cheese. And an Italian three-cheese blend topped with fresh tomatoes and seasonal lettuce blend. And a big flavor of smoky sun-dried tomato and basil pesto. Quiznos, new menu. It's loaded with flavor from sandwiches, flatbreads, subs, sliders, to salads and wraps. Before you head out to lunch, go to Quiznos.com. And you're going to check out the new menu items. Sign up for the Q Club. Uh, for your access to exclusive deals and savings, escape from the boredom of the ordinary lunch. Head to Quiznos today and try one of their over... 25 new menu items. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh, that's later. Uh, <laughs> like the new chicken Milano on that favorite artisan bread. You're going to feel like your mouth just took a trip to uh, Italy. Yes, yes. Quiznos. Toasty. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Anthony Show is pretty much over. But if you feel like sticking around after ONA Live is next.